Welcome to another episode of Cineverse here on Hyper RPG. It's, it's a party right tonight, up. ladies and gentlemen. We got the red cups. We got Augustine's birthday. That was Yay. Sunday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guys, we, there are so many things happening on this show today. So first things first, we got to wish a very happy birthday to Augustine Rios Yay, and, Lucas and Lucas Eubank. Get, get your here, butt buddy. out here. here. You need a piece of Lucas, cake with Lucas, us. Lucas, we're not taking no for an answer. We're going to sit here until your little uh, tushy gets out here. We got cake. One, two, two three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Lucas. Happy birthday, dear Lucas and Augustine. Everybody. Happy birthday to you. the fuck out of here, Lucas. Get out of here. Go back to <laughs> producing the show, Lucas. Thanks hey, so hey much. Danaba, thank you for the cake. Who else Who else pitched in for thank the cake? You, yes, thank, thank you, you so Denova. much. Thank you very Denova much for the cake. got the cake. Thank you very much, Danova. A bunch of mods? Yeah. Oh, and the mods. Cool. Well, thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mods, mods and Danaba and everybody for the cake. Uh, this was given to us by you, and it's very oh special. God, it's so oh, good. this cheesecake is bomb. Oh, oh it's shit. Cheesecake. It's a cheesecake oh, with an no. Oreo cookie on it? Yeah. Goodbye, show. No, do yeah. not take a picture of this. Bye. I changed her hand. No. This is Bye. all of our secret, you Good guys. thing it's not documented on the internet, Erica. <laughs> if it's not documented, the calories uh, don't count. Also, we've got mm. quite a few announcements. Uh, I will try to get through this as fast as I can. Yep. But this is your weekly reminder that this is not a superhero news show. This is Cineverse, the all-encompassing movie show here on Hyper RPG's official Twitch channel, which gets ported over yep. to YouTube. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, join us Tuesdays, 8 to 10 p.m. Do this live. There's a there's a there's a beautiful chat room that you can interact with us and every other person watching the show. So thank you everyone for tuning in live. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, talking movies. Uh, also, we've got a lot of really cool things coming up this week. We are going to be very very busy mm -hmm. on Friday. Uh, some of us, us us three. And yep. Iffy and a few other people are going to be at UCLA. Danny, Danny Fernandez. Danny Fernandez. Mm -hmm. We're going to be at UCLA Geek Week. That starts, I believe, at 7 p.m. this Friday at that? UCLA. Uh, oh, man. It's, it's a whole lot of things. It's like their convention that's happening all week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're just oh, wait. Holding, I heard about that. They're just you holding geek events like all week, that. and yep. then they're culminating with these panels at the end of the week, and yep. we're going to be talking yep, on them. Yep. So I, I think I believe I'm on the panel with Iffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think, Hector, you're doing a panel with Iffy, I think, or Danny yeah. and Augustine. Yeah. We're, me and, yeah, me yeah. and Hector are doing two. You're doing the last one of the night yep, with yep. Iffy and Danny. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys are in the L.A. area or if you're a student at UCLA, Come out, come meet us, come hang come out. We're going to have a really good yeah. time. We're gonna, we want to interact and talk with you guys about anything related to entertainment and nerd and geek culture. Yeah. We love this stuff and so Jack much. Jacko says, I wish I went to UCLA just for that. Transfer. Transfer, Transfer right, right now. now. Yeah, Start go, today go, and go. by it's Friday really cool you'll be there. there. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> if you don't know, we just put out a video uh, on Twitch and on YouTube announcing that we are going to be doing a 48-hour charity stream for the Halo Foundation. Oh, wait. Uh, Guys, we got the prime time slot. I know. It's, <laughs> we got prime time slot. So this is going to be 4 hours. It's going to start on April 7th at 11 a.m. Our goal is to hopefully reach $150,000 to oh. try and sponsor 100 kids for a year. We're going to mm -hmm. do so it. So it's $1,500 per kid. We want to try to do that. And that it goes to an amazing cause. Um, you're going to see a whole bunch of people here uh, doing a whole bunch of different activities for 48 hours. We will be here uh, at 4 a.m. Thanks, Crash Doing something really, really fun. Uh, so give, be now? ready for a good time. Can we yeah. just announce it now? Uh, can we? Wait, Cameron, are you going to be there at 4 a.m. as well? Fuck yeah. Lucas We're says doing, we can announce it. Also, We're doing... Uh, on Saturday from 9 to 11 here, me and Elizabeth Harris are producing two hours of improv comedy. we got a bunch of improv Love writers. it. Boom. There will, you be wow. will you be making That's delicious true. burritos too? Oh, yeah. Saturday, <laughs> night, Saturday night at 9, mm -hmm. right? Saturday night from 9 to 11. We're going to be all up in it. Uh -huh. I, I all will up be in. here at some point. Yes. I I'm really hoping to make the 4 a.m. slot, which is... Here's what it is. We're going <laughs> to be doing a live script reading, a live reading of the classic film Surf Ninjas <laughs> from 4 a.m. to whatever the fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Surf Ninjas. So you're going to... is God. Colonel G is good. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna want to tune in for that. <laughs> tune in, bro. Tune in, bro. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be great, uh, man. We got a we got a giveaway. Well, Augie, real quick, or, or, real quick yeah. before you get to the giveaway, yeah, go. The final thing that I want to announce is that Hyper RPG will be hosting the Valiant Summit. Yeah. Valiant Entertainment is coming to Hyper RPG Studios. So it's excited. It's gonna be a blasty blast. Jody Hauser, Eric, uh, Heis oh my God, Heiser are gonna be here. Uh, writers from Faith, writers from, I mean, Eric did, did Arrival. Now he's yeah. writing comics for Valiant, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Wow. Uh, they're going to be coming in. They're going to be announcing a bunch of new stuff. Some things 
We're probably going to be surprises to all of us. A lot of things that we don't know. So make sure you guys tune in. That's going to be Monday, April 17th. It's going to start at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Yep. Uh, so many fun things wait. happening. There's so much good stuff. Apple Needs says, hope we can tip for voices again during the reading. Oh, you bet, oh, yeah. oh, So we got boy. a special theme tonight. Since we're all 90s babies, this is a 90s-themed night. Oh, yes, uh, so for $25, night. you can text to speak your favorite 90s movie quote. So only 90s movies tonight, you guys. With, does Surf Ninjas count? Surf Ninjas totally counts. Yeah, why not? That's one of the most yeah. 90s things you've ever <laughs> seen. Uh, $50, you submit your favorite 90s movie trailer. Uh, and then at $500, we have a very special event tonight. Bittersweet, we have the final Cam Rant. That's Give why up. Cameron is here. Give it up. Give it up for Cameron. Cameron and his burrito. Right on the rant cam. <laughs> Oh, Guys, please tell me you're ranting about burritos. Yeah, today. Please, please tell me it's a burrito you rant. You can't hate on a burrito. <laughs> can, you, can you give us a little, little sneaky peeky? Yeah, what's the. Not everyone needs to agree with you. Hey. Oh, hey. thank God. Hey, oh, yes. Jesus Christ, I need to yes. hear this. If you're going to go out, go out with a manifesto. <laughs> I love it. Uh, also, if you guys are, if you guys are Ooh, watching this. I'm a little this, uncomfortable with you calling it that. <laughs> it's, it's definitely it's Cameron's it's manifesto. Uh, also, if you guys oh, are watching this later on on YouTube, make sure you guys click, uh, go to the description, find all the links for everything that we're talking about. You can also click the info box up here. You'll have all the information you need to be able to find the charity video and just all the information on what's going on at Hyper RPG. This is a well-oiled machine. We're trying to do new stuff every single week, every single month. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. A lot of cool stuff. Off. Just real quick, before we get into some movie news, yes. I got a giveaway. What are you doing, bro? personally mailing this to somebody tonight. This is a Skybound Mega Box. This is like an impossible to get. If you didn't sign up to get this bad boy, it's like a loot crate, but specifically for Skybound, which you don't know what Skybound is. It is the entertainment company behind some of my favorite comics, some of your soon-to-be favorite projects. Mm -hmm. uh, it is Robert Kirkman's um, production uh, comic book, TV show, merchandise, video game uh, company that is home to The Walking Dead right there. Mm -hmm, There's Rick from mm -hmm, The Walking mm -hmm, Dead. Mm -hmm. Outcast, which is a new show and comic what? book. Extremity, brand new comic book just came out. And then, of course, my favorite comic book series of all time, Invincible. And I'm going to show you guys what's That's inside this. comic book series of all time? Mm -hmm. All time. It America. is the wow. best comic book series we'll of all time. We'll get into it here in a second because there is some very exciting news to talk <laughs> about. But this is a, uh, I'll show you guys what's inside. Now, here's, I'm going to be real. Full disclosure, <laughs> I kept the action figure. <laughs> so, full disclosure, Ooh. I kept the action figure. All right, but I'll tell you what they are here in a sec. Knives? Oh, yeah. Seriously. That's something money can't buy. Knives. Once I went to a cutlery store and said, here's $100,000. Can I buy a knife? Wait, I know what they this said, is. They said, no. Money can't buy oh, knives. I know yeah. this. Gee, I guess that's why you hardly ever see any of them around. Uh, I feel like this oh is... Oh my God, because I should know before this. that really? tells them, like, really? you can't buy happiness or something. <laughs> Come on! The, the robot voice is throwing me. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Don't tell us what it is, Cameron. Oh. Don't tell us what it is. Oh, God. Oh, you're gonna be so mad. Cameron's when gonna you. rant on us if we don't is get this Boondock one. Is it Boondock Saints? No. Oh. No. Uh, don't tell us, Cam. Don't tell us. Is it something <laughs> so Tarantino? Is it Tarantino? It sounds like it's Tarantino. I don't know I this like, one. I, I know, know this one. one. I want to say Machete. I know but that's this not one. It. No, oh, we're it? we're nineties movies night. Is it like? Oh, that's right. That's right. Batman '89 no. is '89. No. Oh. No. You're lucky I'm full of burrito right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot. I forgot it was. I forgot it was nineties. I forgot it was nineties. Okay. okay 90s. Dustin is very upset with Shut us. Shut up, too. Dustin. <laughs> this, this ah! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you. I was cross, and that wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. ah! Adam, have some cake. It I might help this. you think better. I used to quote this because I used to work at a knife store. You used to work at a knife <laughs> store? I did. It was, a knife, and sword. It was a knife and sword shop. Oh my God. Okay, How so, many knives so and swords do you have? You, 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 you need to know this. I know. Is it, it, it might be Batman. It's a Batman thing. No. Is it Batman? It's not Batman. It's not Batman. No. What is it? Uh, no. No. I need to figure surf this out. Surf ninjas. I don't know. Yes. Is it Surf Ninjas? Yes. It's Rob Schneider. It's Home Look going up the mountain. Oh. 
<laughs> with the clutch <laughs> guess. Happy birthday. Clutch guess. Yes. Oh my god, I fucking That's hate that movie. <laughs> and this, <laughs> and this, this line. This really live reading. Nice. You can't buy knives. Went to a store, about hundred dollars. Said, "Hey, can I get some color?" They said, "No, we do not sell knives." And we continued down our way through Pachusan. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, this this live reading is gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really great. Yeah, um, yeah, it's gonna be good. That was a good one, there, Nat. Mm-hmm. Well wow, done. I've never seen Surf Ninjas. It's so Where do, how do I know that quote then? Uh, because you probably because about knives. Because it's about knives. You guys just probably said those that. words all the we time. We used to like quote all the different quotes about knives. This is an XL. All right, Hector. If you are an XL, uh, then go ahead and uh, uh, you're going to want to try to win this tonight. This is a rad shirt, I believe. I believe in Rick Grimes. Yeah. Wait, he super says, nice shirt. I hate this. It also <laughs> comes with a little uh, Rick Grimes exclusive toy in mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm, um, right. And again, I'm, I'm going to ship this to you. What we were looking for is if we get yeah. five subs tonight. Five subscribers, and then we're going to randomly pick a winner, and then yeah. you could win this, and I'll send it to you for free. There's a cool little exclusive Walking Dead pin. There is a, a download for season three of the Walking Dead video game, which mm-hmm, is rad. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. get a load of this, Augie. You're gonna like this. A bunch of exclusive covers. Woo! This is an exclusive cover. The Invincible 133. They're on issue 134 <coughs> right now, but 133. Can I get in on this giveaway? Walking. Can Dead I subscribe Man five can't times? Can <laughs> Extremity issue number one. Oh, oh. I know Kung Fu. Also, I want to hear that rant man. Yeah. I need it. I know Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah. Kung Fu. That's I know that definitely one. definitely Surf Ninjas. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's definitely Karate Kid. It's Three Ninjas. Well, <laughs> that's Tum Tum. What was, the the second, what was the second kid. part of that? I want to hear what? I want to hear that rant. That, Not sure, sure, sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, guys... Yeah. He's out at He's got a hard out at 9.30. Oh, yeah, uh, we, at yeah we, we've got a uh, time crunch for this one. You've got yeah. an hour and 15 minutes for the Cameron final camera. Cameron's out at 9.30. So we better give a good damn show. Spree, Spree Biz says they would like that box. Ooh, well, then hopefully we get some five subs. How many subs do we have at this point? New subs. New subs. No idea. Once, well, once I get the count, Agent you can K-969 win this. Agent K969 just subscribed with Twitch you. Prime two months in a row. Oh, no, that wasn't. That was a follow. Oh, my gosh. And I think no. that's all of the housekeeping we had to do. Was there anything yes. forgetting? A lot Guys, of stuff. Was a Cam's lot of out housekeeping. of here in like an hour and a half, so we got to get that Cam I get ramp. Gatorade up somebody. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. If not, we're going to owe him another burrito. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All right. So <laughs> oh, yeah. let's talk about movie news. How about that? How about we let's get to do it? it? Let's do it. Let's Adam, do it. Adam, you said this the before 90s. we started. All the news tonight is so, so like good. Like a so juicy. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh my God! I Does that make it. you just want to touch yourself? Not wear my What's that? pins. Does that make you just want to? Does that make you just want to touch yourself? Yes, it does. See? I, okay. Like right now, go! I'm sorry. Touch that yourself. Was Invincible. Very, very Adam Eve. Tonight. Rexplode. Duplicate. Omni Man. Robot. The Animen. If you don't know who these characters are, the Immortal. Oh my God, the Martian. If you don't know who these characters are, you're going to because finally. Finally, the greatest comic book series of all time since 2003, Robert Kirkman's Invincible, the greatest superhero comic ever, is finally making it to the big screen. It has been in production development for years. It's been shopped around. It's been this and that. And it is now an exclusive deal Skybound has with uh, Universal for Universal Pictures mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. their first look deal. It is finally being produced. This is going to be a giveaway this week in the charity drive. Oh, this is a giveaway? Oh, oh, I want that. Oh, this. I walked in the room. I walked in the room and I saw the giveaway stuff and I'm like, y'all got it. There's good. some good Darren good. Ross's Super Fight, with which is a, a walking, super good with a Walking Dead, with the Walking Dead expansion. Oh, and the anime expansion is really good. Super Fight, which is a Skybound game, which is awesome. And I'm so glad that Zach has given this away. Volume one of Invincible. This is essentially hey. yeah. what this movie's gonna be. I'm telling yeah. you right now. Yeah. I'm calling it. It's yeah, gonna okay. be this. Okay. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the first I three have volumes. The trade paper box right there. Of those, and I really should right read there. them now. This is gonna happen this weekend. So uh, this is happening thanks to the uh, dery- directing, producing, writing team of Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, the guys behind Who'd Superbad. Thought? This is the end. Mm-hmm. Preacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Preacher was definitely Preacher the was sort of slam the, 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 the test of like these guys can do this sort comic of uh, book this, movies, this yeah. comic book yep, movie. Yep. And Robert Kirkman is also going to be producing as well. And I just want to read what these two parties have said. This came out exclusively today from The Hollywood Reporter. And what they said about this is making me made me so excited. Um, let me see if I can find Invincible. I haven't read any here. of this so that I could hear it from your mouth. 
For nearly a decade, I've had to endure the what about Invincible question as fans have watched The Walking Dead grow into the multimedia monstrosity has become over the years, said Robert Kirkman. The answer has always that we were waiting for the right team to partner with. That team has arrived. The esteemed oh. Mr. Goldberg and Rogan have proven oh. themselves to be top-notch directors with a keen collective eye for stunning visuals after slumming it by writing hit after juggernaut hit. Kirkman continued, Invincible's surprising, edgy, shocking, and oftentimes blood-soaked story couldn't be in more capable hands. With the team of Rogan, Goldberg, and Universal, I'm very confident this is going to be another superhero movie, and this part is key. In a long line of superhero movies that continues to prove that it's a viable, thrilling genre that will keep people coming to the cinema for years to come. He had to differentiate, well, what makes this different? Yeah. What, what, what makes it special that we're getting another superhero Ooh. movie in a, in a huge... You know, uh, in this uh, giant most, universe. Most movies are superhero mm -hmm. movies mm -hmm. these days. It feels like, and and, mm -hmm. and he was smart to set that apart. And this is what Rogan and Goldberg said: No matter how much damage it causes our bodies, minds, and our most intimate relationships with those we love, we will not rest until Invincible is as great a movie as it deserves to be. Woo! That's exciting. That oh. is, and, and it's, and again, Augie and I are super excited because oh, we've read this. God. The Root Beer Hero says this is the greatest news ever. Yes, <laughs> it is. Now's the time yes, to get caught is. up. Now's the time to get caught up because I'll give you the pitch, but this, this series is not yeah. the pitch. I mean, I, I have them now. So I'm very this series excited. is not the pitch. The pitch is that Mark Grayson is a regular teenage, American teenager. The difference is, is that his father is the most famous superhero in the world. He's a basically Superman. He's like Superman, a character yes. named Omni Man. He's yep. right there covered yep. in blood right there. Why is he covered in blood? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to tell you what this series is about because it is so much more than that. But yeah. if I tell you more, it literally ruins you can't, great the, elements of the story. Because you get a really good story that, element that right at the beginning. Like and so are you, you sure that that's who they are? Oh. Are you sure you, you, that's who I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't. You don't know what's happening. You don't know if there's a a, a guy who can duplicate. You it's don't know it's what there yeah, is. exactly. And there there is it's very that. Intriguing. I just the way that Robert Kirkman has, uh, in my opinion, his his brilliant idea of continuing the zombie story and making it never ending, taking a zombie movie and just not finishing it and right. just seeing where it right. goes is so brilliant and so revolutionary. Um, however, you feel about The Walking Dead, that's such a great concept. To right. me, he revolutionizes <laughs> superhero comics with his series Invincible because everything that other superhero comics and stories do from mm -hmm. the big two, from Marvel and DC, he takes those tropes and turns them upside down and he does it his own way and he goes against what you would expect from superhero stories and he lets mm -hmm. these characters mm -hmm. evolve. And mm -hmm. I don't want to tell you what happens, but this kid goes from a high school kid to now he's like in his late 20s, early 30s. Yep. Like, yep. Again, I've been reading yep. it since 2003, since mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. in high school. Mm -hmm. I've seen him go through the college years. I've seen him go, like, it's fucking bonkers. It's what so good. I read and what he does. I read 107 issues in a month because yeah. I wanted to catch up so oh bad. God. I'm at issue 107. I caught all up in a month. It's, it's crack. Crazy good. It's so good. It's crazy so good. good. So if you guys have, now is the time. If you Thanks have not bits, caught up princess. on Invincible, go get it. Go get either this hardcover, which will be the first movie probably, or the first three paperbacks. I'm trying to get the omnibus, the first one. It's all in there. The yeah, compendiums, yeah, the those compendium big, thing. thick mm -hmm. bad boys. Yeah, I think yeah. they did a hardcover one too. I, I that one's like three hundred bucks because it's really rare. So uh, I'm just gonna get the very, very nice, the other one. It's uh, it's and Magic Strike says honest question: Would this be better done as a series and not a movie? No, and let me tell you why. Sim bu it's budget. <laughs> Simply because 100 budget. percent budget. Like I think The Walking Dead should have been a TV show more than a movie. Mm -hmm. And even with that, even with it being AMC's best TV show. I'm watching it sometimes, and I'm like, where's the budget? They, they, why aren't mm -hmm, they using mm -hmm, the budget mm -hmm. on this terrible CG deer? Like, yeah. it's taking me out of the story that I can yeah, tell. Yeah, like some of those headshots are really the, bad. Holy moly. Ugh. So just for epic scale and budget alone, this needs to be, in my opinion, a series of movies that they need to throw enough money at it that it can compete with the big boys because it's, it will deliver. Mm -hmm, it's different. Mm -hmm, it's different. Mm -hmm. and, and again, the, the fact that they're saying it needs to be rated R, I think it needs to be rated R, but it's, it not, it's not a rated R story... Like it's tough to describe. It's a story that well, it's it, honestly it, it's PG thirteen and then there's moments of just horrific violence. That's the thing. The it's yeah. it's the most ultra violent thing I've ever I've ever read or ever seen, but it doesn't seem gratuitous, mm -hmm. yes. which is odd because mm -hmm. I feel like if I if you really saw superheroes fight this way, this is how bloody and violent it's it would be. It's kinda like Logan. Uh, different. I mean, people do get ripped apart in this one, and yes, like you and see guts and entrails and moments, flying everywhere. The moments in Logan, you're not excited. To me, at least, I'm not excited and titillated by the action as much right. with the, because of that story. Because it serves the story that you're sad. 
you're saddened and you're like, right, oh, right, Laura, right. she's a little girl. Get out of there. Similar things happen in this. This yeah, violence yeah. is not like, yeah, even though Ryan Otley and in the beginning, Corey Walker do an amazing job of the art. But mm-hmm. it's more like when things are happening, it's so intense. It all serves a story. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. Not gratu- it's, it's all it's serves never a story. gratuitous violence. It's 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 beautifully done. Yeah. There's there's character work in this series that is done so well. Thank you, Ronan. What did he say? He says uh, Hector and Augustine. After the show, I'm gonna go buy Volume One and check it out. Yo. He know he knows. <laughs> we rec- we recommended did. Wolverine for him, and he loved You're it. You're gonna be glad that you did. Uh, this. So it's not just the ultra violence. It's not just. It's 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 the character development too. You really end up caring about yeah. the main hero so and like. Much. It, it, my favorite hero was this guy named Alan the Alien, Alan. Which, ends up, which ends up being like one of the coolest heroes, but he's kind of weird. He's kind of dorky at first, Love but Alan. there's just so much so cool buff. stuff that this story does. My, one of my new favorite villains is the Tyrannosaurus. What's yeah. his name? Dino, dinosaurus? Uh, dinosaurus. Dinosaurus. Yeah. 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 Teen Girl Stuff says, I've heard Hector talk about Invincible for years, but this is the first time I'm seriously considering it. Go read the story. <laughs> Get I it. love it. And that's what's so exciting about this team and the fact that it's coming from Universal. Universal, what are their properties? What are their franchises? All, I mean, all Universal has right now is they Fast have the Universal Furious? Monsters. Yeah. The Monsters. Mm-hmm. And they've been, they've Minions. had the Hulk, but nothing really, yeah. nothing yeah. doing. Born, doing that's anything. going away probably. Right. Like, they have the Fast and Furious, yep. Jurassic World. Jurassic. Universal had Jurassic. the best year. Minions. Not last year. Yeah. Disney. Two years ago, they had the best year. 2015. Yeah, they yeah. had a, they had their best. Yeah, they they were the best on top in 2015. But I think that something like this, but no superhero franchise, opening it up to this world. No, not really. It's really going to set them apart. Yeah. But with, but again, it's so exciting <laughs> that this is getting made because it just means that Invincible is going to be read by more people. That they're yeah. going to make more merch. I've waited. Is that true? Universal has years. Namor. Yeah, yeah, is they do true? have Namor. I think they do have I don't have the, have the rights for that. Last like a shared. I don't know. Ra- I don't I don't know. know. Like yeah. a shared. Like but I agree with you, Hector. Because Invincible merch. The only reason action figures. I bug Zach so much about getting me the Invincible toy is because little. Kids dressed up as the characters. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Hopefully not. It's kind of fucked blood. up. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, caked in blood. <laughs> Just like a blood. I splatter. saw. A, I saw a lot of little girls dressed up as Laura. You're right. Like WonderCon. Uh, You're that's right. True. Good point. That's true. And there's little kid predators, and it's adorable as shit. So it's yeah. Very <laughs> I want to see a little kid. I want to see a toddler Omni Man with a mustache. Yeah. And everything. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Yeah. And so I'm super excited about this. I want to get you guys super excited about this, oh, too. Oh, now, I mean, like, you like, guys are, are really selling me on this. And I, I have them. I just haven't got around to it. It's, there's so much I have to read. I just, but, uh, this especially is you, go Adam. To the top mm-hmm. of the pile, then. I know, you're, I know you don't have a lot of time to read comic yeah, books. Yeah, but I remember you guys, we were talking about Invincible for the longest time. I remember we Since did, like, a the live... beginning. I remember we did, like, a live Q&A, and somebody started asking us about Since Invincible. We spent, like, 20 ago. minutes talking mm-hmm, about it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm really impressed with... Oh, whoa. Is that a sub? Tip. Oh, tip. <laughs> what is that? That one's odd. This is a good one. I know this. I like this. I am the law. Easy quote. Sure. I just want that camera. <laughs> oh, my God. Good, good, good. They have a goal. They're working Easy. towards it. It's Demolition Man. Next movie. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I thought it was Cliffhanger. <laughs> uh. It's the calmness in which the bot says it. That's haunting. Yeah. yeah. I am the law. Yeah. I am the I law. Am the law. So calm. I am so the law. So here's another thing I love about Invincible is that it's a self-contained universe of characters and you know people yeah, talk about and that is one reason so i really want to get into it because yeah. like There's i so never much got marvel. past so a lot of DC. the street level dc or marvel characters yeah. because like it's just a little overwhelming to me to have these huge epic stories uh mm-hmm. that just mm-hmm. sprawl out and you have to read a, a ton of different books mm-hmm. in order to get a full, through storyline right, right, yeah. um, i really like self-contained universes that's why i read a lot of indie comics and a lot of like yeah. image stuff and here's what's so great this, this i'm not really going to give you a specific mm-hmm, but an mm-hmm. issue 60 mm-hmm. a big milestone <laughs> issue robert kirkman to go against that uh-huh. to go against big company-wide crossovers right. in regular mm-hmm. right. superhero comics he did a company-wide crossover mega event in one issue mm-hmm. oh that's great it, yeah. and it had like cameos from spawn savage dragon other no image way. characters and invincible and all these characters and this huge epic earth-shattering event where like literally the world changed forever mm-hmm. actually happened in one issue mm-hmm. because robert kirkman's like i believe you can just do it in one issue here i did it yeah you don't you know need what 12 mean? stories yeah. branching to off go of everything yeah, to go yeah. Against, like, there's no tie-in yeah. issues to buy there's no good, you know alternate universes and there's he, nothing like that he does that shit throughout the whole series like if you if you read superhero comics and you're into marvel or dc and you've ever gone like man i don't like how they do that one thing yeah. <laughs> he's right he's there. thought about it and he yeah, yeah well, that's he, great yeah it's, it's hey! just good oh thank you very much thank you what was that other song i'm the best at what i do and what i do isn't very nice this is a tough one because there was not an X Men movie in the '90s, so I, I like. Yeah. Watch out. There's a there's a fly. Get that fly. 
Get the, get the, get the, get the fly. Is this a quote from another '90s movie, um, or is it Wolverine? Yeah, it's gotta be in '90s. I mean, it, it's it's. I mean, I remember Wait, Wolverine quote, saying it. it. I'm the best there is at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice. But that's not a Talented '90s movie. Talented Mr. This person didn't hear the '90s thing. Oh. True, true, true. Talented Good quote. Very possible. Good quote. Very Wolverine. possible. That's the is quote. It that's the quote. Yeah, yeah, that's the okay. quote. He says it in all the best <laughs> Wolverine comics. I don't. I don't feel like there's anything else I could say at this point <clears throat> rather than just I mean, go fucking I'm, read it. I'm just really excited because I, I've been really impressed with with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg's kind of path of the, everything that they've done. I found most of their movies to be hysterical. They're like, some of them are really cheesy, mm-hmm. but I don't mm-hmm. care because I'm having a good time. I'm laughing. I, I it's, mean, a, it's a good time to, at the to movies. Me, uh, Preacher was just a perfect adaptation. Like, it okay. was it was great. really great. Because mm-hmm. it, okay. it was good for people who hadn't seen it before, who hadn't they read Preacher before. And, yeah. yeah. And, and they kept it. It was very unique. Yeah. In in terms of, I feel like a lot of comic book adaptations have started to feel very samey. Uh, they're very mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. but but very but Preacher felt unique. I really like that they were able to take this tone, uh, and I, I feel like they'll, I think mm-hmm. they're going to do a great job. Sub hype! Yeah. Oh, we got hey! a sub. All right, that's one. That's one for the night. Four Who's more. There? Sanchez. Sanchez, Sanchez 10. 10, thank you very, very Orale, much Sanchez. for subscribing. Welcome hey. to the Thumper family. Sanchez, Sanchez 10. Uh, um, just a reminder, when we get to five subs, we're going to give that bad boy away, mm-hmm. that mega box over there. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, um, I'll ship it to you. Yeah, I, was, I, I think also the other thing that excites me is like, it's cool to see guys like that doing other things that, uh, that are not just comedies. Yeah. Preacher is, has comedic elements to it, but for the most part, it's dark. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're seeing the same thing with guys like Dane McBride and David Gordon Green. They're going over and they're doing Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's really cool when these actors and directors and producers who are mostly known for one type of genre. Yeah, Jordan they spread Peele. Their, yeah, they spread Jordan their wings. Jordan Peele, dude. Yeah. They spread right. their wings and they, and they try to You're do right. something different. And I think that's great. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Can't wait. I personally love the superhero genre and I love Marvel and DC, but I love the fact that like, Valiant's making movies. Yes. I love the fact mm-hmm. that now Invincible is being made into a movie mm-hmm. series. Mm-hmm. It's going to go on and on and on. And we'll always have Marvel and DC, but we'll have these other movies kind of sprinkled throughout. I'm glad we're just going to have more to look forward to, yeah. you know? It's the yeah. perfect time to be a yeah. superhero yeah, nerd. Kirkman and, and Skybound are starting to <laughs> gear up. Yeah, man. I know yeah. there, there's mm-hmm. talk about we're, we're like gonna see a lot from them. oxen-free film yeah. as well. Yeah. It's possible, yeah. And they have a real mission statement of like, it's not just Robert Kirkman. It's like they go out and they find... Video games, right? They're, that they're are very much about the creator. They're about creator, the creator. About they're like, will this kind of fit focus, our, yeah. our our brand mm-hmm, and our mm-hmm, tone? Mm-hmm, and and um, they're all about it. So yeah, guys, that's a big fucking fly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude. Is Seth so going to direct it? Also, I, I think Seth and Evan are going to co-direct it. Yeah, oh, they co-directed. This is the end and yeah. the interview. And say what you will about those movies, I thought that those movies had like moments moments of brilliance. And yeah. this is the end was so cool. It had it, to me both of those movies had moments of brilliance. Definitely worth checking out. I don't know if I would like own them and rewatch them over and over again, but it's I good. own this is the end. I think Great I think comedies. some of these some Great of these comedies. characters do really deserve that kind of treatment. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of these characters do enjoy do need the kind of treatment that Seth can bring. Yeah, uh, a little bit of comedic, oh, but yeah. not not super serious, but not completely silly as well. Yeah, uh, which is why I think it's a good idea for them to double up. On the uh, on the director co-direct things, I think yeah. it's good. It's a good idea. I agree. Oh man, but I yeah, would, I would love to be in the room and, trying to plan no out date, that right? movie. No date, no star, n- uh, nothing yeah. yet. But Just, it is. We're doing it. Moving mm-hmm. forward at Universal, yeah. Dude, yep. who's gonna be the star, Hector? I don't know, dude. Oh man. And at this, at this you point, better grab that would, mustache, boy. I would try to go. Uh, uh, <laughs> mustache. Un- I would try to go unknown with it. I'd yeah. try to like try or to find Hector next- Navarro. That's always my answer for it is. all of these. Or like try to f- like <laughs> like try to find the next Joseph Gordon-Levitt for Mark, the main character, yeah, that's but a good like idea. not Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And but somebody that sort of with that kind of. Uh, well, it's got to be some kid who's young because yeah. this is gonna be a long franchise. It definitely has. It's the really really long. Gotta find that Tom Holland. Excited. There you go. There you go. No shit. Yeah. But then get like all like established actors for like. The Guardians of the Globe. These are the yeah. superhero yeah. Justice League style. I, mean, I, think, I think you can get Lucas to do what's, it. What's Lucas the main, looks. What's the, what's the he's got that name? generic white guy face. Omni Man, Invincible. Omni-Man. <laughs> I look at that right there, and first, the first person that comes to my mind is like Tom Selleck. Yeah. Or if they mm-hmm. want to go younger, you get like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. 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 Has uh, a story history of playing dads. Yeah, he does. I would go with a, uh, go to a gym and just find a ripped dude. <laughs> yeah, just find a ripped <laughs> old guy. <laughs> what about a that guy who played Thor in the one movie? the um 
Oh my God! The, the YouTube Kung, movie, Kung Fu Hustle. No, 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 Kung, no, Fury. Kung, Kung, Kung Fury. Kung Fury. Just that yeah. really old rip guy. Yeah, yeah, who played Thor? We'll have just him be dub him. him for yeah. everything. Yeah, exactly. Or like Stephen Lang from yeah. Avatar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd yeah. be good. <laughs> What's Joseph Gordon up to lately? Nice. Not Sandman's as Grail uh, Case. Uh, not Sandman. Yeah, he's doing a lot of hit record that really stuff. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. So somebody What's in the next? chat room is talking about John Hamm. Speaking of John Hamm, we're talking the uh, short list. For actors who can play Cable in the upcoming Deadpool 2 movie. Mm. Uh, so what I wanted to do was throw all the names out there, throw a vote in the chat to see who you guys would want, and, then, yeah. and then we'll vote here too as to who we would want. Okay. So the short list, uh, one person has already dropped out, but uh, at the beginning of the list we have John Hamm, which was recommended by uh, Deadpool co-director Robin Liefeld, mm -hmm. uh, Kira Knightley, which is an interesting choice, Brad Pitt, who has officially dropped out because apparently there's a scheduling okay. uh, problem. Okay. Pierce Brosnan and Michael Shannon. We heard Michael Shannon was sort of like the front runner for it yeah. Uh, yeah. last week. Yeah. Um, but I want to throw it to you guys, and I want to throw it to the chat room. So if somebody could set up a vote in the chat room, <laughs> who would you like to see? And Jacko says, I want the Liam Neeson's. <laughs> the Liam, Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and also if you have oh, like a, like shoot. a, Lawrence Fishburne would a be choice that's not on this, good on this if list. If he buffed up. <laughs> Lawrence yeah. Fishburne got that got it back into shape. Yeah, that would be pretty rad. Lawrence yeah. Fishburne, yeah. like, like Morpheus. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah. that's what we were saying. In the chat. Be good. It begs the question, like, like if 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 they were seriously considering Kira Knightley as, yeah. as a jokey sort of. Alpha I mean, he casting, says, yeah. He's then like, you who do knows? Lawrence Fishburne. Kira then this cable is probably not going to be the son of Cyclops. From the future, probably right. not. And if probably he is, not. like they're not going to give a shit. Like if it's going to be Kira Knightley, yeah. like, they're not. You know, exactly. But, um, so he'll make yeah. a joke about yeah. it. Like, aren't you the son? Like, well, they got confused I mean, when it came out. If they do, if they do Kira, they could just easily say daughter. Yeah, exactly. It know? doesn't matter. It doesn't really so matter. So options are John Hand, Kira John Knightley, Hand. John Hand. Brad Pitt, <laughs> Pierce Brosnan, Michael Shannon. But Michael Brad Pitt <laughs> is out though. Brad Pitt's officially yeah. out. But you can still vote for him if you want. I am gonna of, of those five options. I would go. Well, we'll just wait. And there was also there was also Pierce Brosnan is. Interesting. Well, there was He's also an image with uh, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Pierce Brosnan, and it was like, question mark? What's yeah. happening? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Imagine seeing Hugh Jackman as a... Uh yeah, a lot of people no, are calling for. Uh, oh, I happen. thought David Harbour was in, was in the running. Apparently not. Yeah, no. Oh, Damn not. it. Yeah. He would have been great. Uh, apparently not. The oh, Rock. I, I would go with The Rock. Yeah, David Harbour from uh, Stranger, Stranger Things, Things. Uh -huh, of course. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have been so good. Guru Matt says, "What happened to Stephen Lang?" I don't really know. Don't Stephen know. Lang was really I out there trying to like campaign yeah. for it. That was just a rumor, right? Yeah, like he was he was the one out there campaigning for it, and I don't know if he ever had a meeting. with Must have happened. Where, like, somebody decided no. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. at Fox decided That's no. That's weird because he's in Avatar And I movie. want to know the reason. Yeah. Because if it right. comes down to talent, I'm looking, I'm looking at the rest of these and I'm like, they're names, but Ryan Reynolds is going to sell this movie. And Ryan yeah. Reynolds has already yeah. established himself as Deadpool. Deadpool yeah. 2 is the movie to mm -hmm. introduce the character and concept yeah. of Cable. The straight you know man. You yeah. don't need an established actor. Yeah. Yeah. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's going to come down to Ryan Reynolds' call. Sure. Of course it is. It can. Of course it Chemistry is. Yeah, it can. All he's, running, he's running the whole ship. That's why I'm like, maybe they did take a meeting with Stephen Lang, and then after he left, they're like, I don't like him. Like, <laughs> it, it could have. It honestly <laughs> could have been that. It's it very possible. Been that. Uh, uh, because uh, Dustin Diamond, the guy who plays Screech, what's he doing now? His <laughs> oh, I think he's in jail. I cool, think he yeah, pulled a knife him, on get, a guy. Get him out. Let him I thought he was doing porn. He was, but then he got put in jail for pulling a knife on a guy. And now he's doing porn in jail. And now, yeah. I would have just not filmed. He's better than not filmed. He's better than biscuits elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would uh, I would have voted for Stephen Lang, but if I can't vote for him, I'll vote for these I options. would have said David, Har he David Harbour. David Harbour would, would have been my pick. Um, Kira Knightley is like, that's really interesting. I don't an, see her an, being I don't, I don't that see it badass. I don't see it either. Uh, my it's vote would be John Hamm. I love that man. Great. I think uh, he great. does very he's good dramatic roles. Funny. He's funny. Yeah. He's got a got huge range. great yeah. comedic yeah. timing. Yeah, he's got great comedic timing, meaning he could Although bounce off of Ryan Reynolds. I don't see him being like gritty, mm -hmm. super gritty. I think he could be gritty. He did some pretty gritty shit in, in Mad Men. Just like kind of yes, slick, gritty shit. But like, town. he's not like the town. The he's town. not like buff and like you know. Well, that's I mean, a lot of actors aren't like, buff before they play yeah. superheroes. But I mean, like, he's also you know known for being more suave and you know. 
uh, right, right. <laughs> suave I, and cool. I, 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 see, I see your point, but I feel that the man has great range. Oh, yeah. he does. He's got but great even, comedy even range. Even in his comedy, he still plays like really smooth, charming characters. Like yeah, in Jimmy that's true. Schmidt. That's like, true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think you can turn that off, There's a difference between like yeah. having range and like being able to play like a certain yes. subset. Right. I, I, I understand that, but I feel like he's the type of guy who could do it. But that's just my choice. What's your choice? Um, I don't know. My choice is Michael I Shannon. I think Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon. Out of Michael all Shannon. of these, that's like a, yeah. I really these, he's, he these looks, are all fine actors. Fine like he actors looks the most like Cable to me. I feel like mm-hmm. he could out of all of them. Like if they're going yeah. older Cable, if they're going we don't yeah. give a shit Cable, then Nick it might be John Hamm. Yeah. Yeah. Nick Offerman. I would love John Hamm. Nick Offerman. Like he's thirty. Nick Offerman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nick Offerman would be <laughs> fantastic. I would pre-buy tickets now. Yeah. What just don't the, uh, shave the mustache. What were the final results on the? Uh, oh yeah, what was the, the what was the vote? Can you guys show up the vote? I was there actually <clears throat> a vote? Uh, yeah, there was. I I this is the thing. Like I I would pro- my gut would go with Michael Shannon because of how much range he has. Yeah, and he can have kind of that. I feel like he's the perfect yin to to Deadpool's yang because mm-hmm. Deadpool is very quippy and he's kind of like always on his toes. Where I feel like Michael Shannon is so serious. That he's like yeah. the perfect opposite of what yeah, I feel Michael like Shannon Deadpool. Is so intense. He's very, yeah. very intense. Right, right, right. Um, but he also did play General Zod in Man of Steel. And not that actors can't cross over, but I would like seeing fresh talent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like to see these movies uh, bring in. You can, even though Ryan never Reynolds been played fucking in a three superhero. Characters. Yeah, but an actor who's never been in a superhero movie. Let's do John right. Hamm. Yeah. Let's John do Hamm's it, like John Hamm. been in one. Yeah, yeah. John Hamm would be great. I mean, yeah. he was rumored to be Batman for a Superman. long time. Superman, yeah. He was I Kevin think he'd be, he would have made Superman. a better yeah. Superman. He'd be a great Superman. Yeah. I want Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yes, let's do that. I'm Cable from the past, brother. I'm Cable. I'm Cable from the future, brother. I'm Cable, brother. So I lost my dad, brother. Come on, dude. What was the final result in the chat? It was Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. Yeah, the I'm not mad about because that. Because nerve tears be are delicious. It. Yeah. Uh-oh, here we go. For the final cam rant, here's a quote from my favorite 90s movie. Afterwards, the 700 people in the boats had nothing to do but to wait. Titanic! Wait to live. Wait for an absolution, but would not come until dawn. That's a great line. That's a great line. Yeah, that is a good line. I'm pretty pretty sure there's Titanic. Pretty sure it's Titanic. Titanic. Pretty sure that's Titanic. Wait, was that in the 90s? Yeah, 1997. Yeah, 97? December 1997. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Was in theaters for like fucking forty weeks or something. It was. It was, it was a, a whole year, a like whole year later. Yeah, until like basically. August or they September. Had, they had like you know shadow cast sort of or like you know the kind of viewings where people could recite along with the film mm. and stuff, and uh-huh. it was encouraged. Mm-hmm. To Look, I saw the movie. Up. I saw the movie when I was nine. Didn't like it. Saw it when it came back out in 3D. Loved it. Yeah, the 3D version was great. It's really good. I never saw the ending in the first go around mm-hmm. because I like I had to pee as soon as the iceberg hit the mm. ship, uh, and I just. And then you never came back. Yeah, how long did you pee? No, but that's like as I lasted all the way up until like the old lady until the pee, old lady and then I never returned. the old lady like it, it was gonna you know she. It was like she told the end of her story, but then I was like, I gotta go. And I never saw the end of the film until all these years later with a. Uh, so you 3D. peed and then you just walked out of the bathroom and walked out of the theater? No, it was like the last five minutes of the film when after she finishes her story. Oh, because oh, you said when the iceberg oh, strikes, I'm like, I'm saying, like, like I held twice. it all the way from when the iceberg hit it to like oh, five minutes oh, before the end. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah, that's mm, funny. Okay. I love that movie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. That movie was on two VHS tapes because it was so damn Yeah, long. it was so long. Everybody had the two VHS tapes. Yep. I tried but to watch me. it a couple a couple years ago me. for Valentine's Day. They had they showed it at the United... No, not at the, at the Los Angeles Theater. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was great, but I could only make it through halfway. I was like, dudes, I'm out. <laughs> oh, really? It's just too long. Just way too long. I got yeah. sucked in, man. I bought into that movie so hard. Mm-hmm. I don't know. James everybody, grown up, everybody in my family and all my friends had the double VHS of Titanic, and then it was usually right next to Selena on VHS. Like, <laughs> those <laughs> were like the mainstays of every family. Oh, growing yeah. Up. It was oh, just yeah. her birthday, actually. Yeah. Just Selena's? Yep. Yeah. Selena's? Crazy, Selena's. Anything for Selena's. Anything for Selena's. <laughs> that was a great movie. Yeah, that was a That's good a one. That was movie. a good I need to rewatch that. Somebody yeah. put that quote in the chat. I'm challenging some somebody Selena's? to find a Selena's quote. Put some Edward James Olmos quotes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's exhausting being a Mexican-American. Hey, thank you for the subscription. That's two. Oh, that was a sub? 
Don't forget about the subs, you guys. This box yeah. is dope. If you guys don't get it, I'm just going to punch Hector in the face and steal it. I'm just going to resub five times. I've seen it. Yeah. Take it home. You got to know about home. Oprah and Christina. It's <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> Throw some American meat quotes in Love it. <laughs> oh, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Too it intense. doesn't all need to be geeky. Kids love too intense. intense. <laughs> yeah, true. It doesn't. It Let's doesn't. get fucking real with it. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Some, <laughs> Let's get dark. Let's get to those gritty yeah. Latino movies in the yeah. 90s. Uh, the we cool. call it home. Like, I don't know. These are 1800 <laughs> movies that are made between 1993 and 97. <laughs> yeah. yep. All right. Shall we? Yeah. What's next? Next yeah. topic. I'm very excited about this. This is this is a very interesting development in the DC Extended Universe. Joss Whedon is in final negotiations to come on board to write, produce, and direct Batgirl. I Beautiful. Love it. This it's is beautiful. gonna be this is gonna I be loosely it. based on the new fifty two version. This is gonna be Barbara uh, Gordon's Batgirl, the daughter of James Gordon, Commissioner mm-hmm, Jim Gordon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, this excites me for multiple reasons. My but I will start with my negative first. Mm-hmm. After these hey! messages. <laughs> Thanks for subscription. That's three subs. Yay, two, oh, more. two more. We're two giving more. away a box. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. And then after that, uno mas. Uno mas. Um, so my, my negative with this, and I mentioned this before, is I'm my only concern is I feel like the DC Extended Universe is becoming the Dark Knight Extended Universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've got a Batman movie coming. We had Batman dominating Batman versus Superman. We have a Nightwing movie coming by, from Chris McKay. Batman was in Suicide Squad. Batman was in Suicide Batman Squad. Will be in Batman Wonder will Woman. be in Wonder <laughs> Woman. Um, and now we have a Batgirl movie. Now, the flip side to this is, and it was kind of the same thing with Nightwing. We've never seen a Nightwing. We've never sure. seen yeah, Nightwing Redman in the Scott cinematic universe. He's saying mm-hmm. the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. On exactly. To Batman exactly. World, they're, too much. they're relying too much. They're treating Batman too much like Iron Man, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Uh, we talked about Spider Man sure. Homecoming. I'm not sure. the biggest fan of Iron Man being in so much of Homecoming, potentially. Uh-huh. Um, but the thing that excites me about the characters that they are doing movies on, they're also doing Gotham City Sirens, right. uh, Suicide Squad mm-hmm, 2. Mm-hmm, Jesus mm-hmm, Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing that does excite me is that Nightwing is a character that we've never seen in, in, in the film film universe at all. Yeah. We got like little sprinkles and little hints just, towards just it in Batman eggs. and Robin. Yeah. Just Easter eggs. Just That's Easter it. eggs towards yeah. in Batman yeah, and Robin yeah, when Chris O'Donnell played him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. Ooh. Uh, no. No. <laughs> so the thing that excites me about this is, first, first of all, that we're going to get... Barbara Bruce Gordon. Me. <laughs> We're gonna get Barbara oh, wow. Gordon, and it's gonna be an extension of the Batman universe. There's yeah. obviously more history that we're gonna get to know. I think she's characters. gonna be the daughter of J.K. Simmons as Commissioner oh, Gordon. Of course. Yeah, like, I think they're so. not gonna. They better not, be in this fucking movie. The, if if they don't did, make Barbara Gordon yeah. his we daughter, did then see fuck off. Young Batgirl in um, uh, Dark Knight. Yeah. In Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. So okay. top of the roof. I, I'm sick of them like. Teasing us with like Barbara yeah. Gordon, daughter, like little kid, give us Batgirl. And now they're finally doing it. And I and I really like Joss Whedon. Mm-hmm. To me, mm-hmm. the Marvel Cinematic Universe was kind of all over the place. Like mm-hmm. individually, it was great, but otherwise, it was kind of all over the place. It wasn't until Joss came in, solidified what the Avengers universe was. He built up characters that I thought I wasn't going to care about, like Black Widow and Hawkeye. And mm-hmm. Loki. And Loki. And yeah. I cared about all these characters. And now, because of what he kind of did, it spawned an entire universe where they felt very confident about moving forward. So you think you can do the same thing with the DC world? You think you I can think write... It, I think at least with Batgirl, I think this will be a nice first stepping stone for him to to kind of dip his toes into the DC universe to see kind of how they interact and how they play, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, how that whole thing works. Because I think his biggest thing, his biggest complaint from Marvel was when he got to Age of Ultron, it felt like there was too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. And I and I know that the, one of the things that we talk about about the DC universe is it feels like there's too many cooks in the mm-hmm. kitchen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be interesting to see of how much creative these control. Are moody, movies by committee. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how much creative control he has over this. I hope that whatever ends up happening, that going forward, all the directors just kind of have a guideline of it's in this universe. This is kind of where we want to go, mm-hmm. but the rest of it, make it your own. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And we need I don't the characters to start here. We need the characters uh, to end here. You yeah. can't kill these characters. You can do whatever the fuck you want with these right. characters. Do and a movie. so my hope is that Joss can really make a movie that he wants to make, mm-hmm. hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, and because of characters that he's written in other in other movies, particularly female characters, obviously, as a kid growing up, I loved Buffy the Vampire yeah. Slayer. That right. show yeah. was right. so fucking good. It's all good. time. I have a thing to say. Um, I am a huge Joss Whedon fan. Great. I love what he does with superhero movies, and uh, he's super cool. Um, I, they really should have gotten a female director for this. Sure. They 100% should have. Like, yeah. it was, they were, like, people were so thrilled and that it, they it, got a female director 
for Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. It makes and you wonder. It makes it, you think. Why? Why did would they do this? Did this not get greenlit until maybe yeah. Joss Whedon pitched Probably. it to Wonder Woman? Probably. Probably. I, I wanted, assume so. Like, maybe he had a meeting with them, and they were like, "Well, we have these characters," and he was like, "I'd love to do Batgirl." Right. Mm-hmm. And that's and the thing. Like, Let's that, do it. And it's that's totally the thing because I, I honestly. Yo, Jim, bought the voice sound didn't go off though. Oh, we got. Oh. Oh. The sky okay, was full of what looked like huge bats, thing. all swooping and screeching and diving around the car, which was going about 100 miles an hour with the top down to Las Vegas, and a voice was screaming, Holy Jesus, what are these goddamn animals? We can't stop here. Fear Logan, Las Vegas. Oh, hold oh, yeah. oh, 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 on, here it comes. Here it comes. We can't stop here, it's bat country. The sky was yep. full of what looked like Great. huge bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. <laughs> Which was going a about a hundred miles an hour with a top really? down yeah. to Las don't Vegas. Don't lick it. And a voice was screaming, "Hit that fly! Hit that Jesus, fly!" What are these goddamn it's animals? It's not just not protected. It's like a taser. You, oh, we Bro, have put one your finger like on it. It's like a it's like a fly taser. Bro, put your finger on it. Hell no. <laughs> Press it. I want to see what happens. How is oh, it? Not? Gonna oh, do my it. God. No, no, no. Sit down, Cameron. <laughs> no, no, Cameron, come back here, Cameron. You, Cameron, you, Cameron, you got to survive for the Cameron, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um. But yeah, uh, I totally, I totally understand where you're coming I, from. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is they probably weren't, they probably had no plans to make Batgirl. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think mm-hmm. Joss came mm-hmm. and had a meeting like, "Hey, we've got, we've got this male character, this male character, this male character. We got this and this and this." It's like, how about Batgirl? I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. sad to me that the only way to greenlight a female led film is yeah. to have a man directing it. Yeah, that's I mean, not, and like, well, we don't and know if that's what happened though. Okay, mm-hmm. well, either way, there is. A, a guy is direct who like is great. He's a great director, but this mm-hmm. was their opportunity to give a woman a chance. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody always says like, oh, you know, we don't know like women can't direct superhero films because they don't have the experience. You, you're never gonna get the experience if you don't get the opportunity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So mm-hmm. I yeah, honestly, somebody, somebody was I like, think uh, this was a huge wasted opportunity for somebody, them. Somebody tweeted uh, already turning this into a Marvel versus DC thing like mm-hmm. immediately, mm-hmm. immediately. Mm-hmm. Of course. And this is like yeah. awesome, oh, this is like awesome news. It's like yeah. Batgirl. Look at that image for a second. Like this is what the movie could be: is Batgirl taking her mask off? Like I didn't do it. And Commissioner Gordon yeah. is going, "I don't fucking care." Yeah. <laughs> and it's his own daughter. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I told you. I told you to stay like, away from it's this. So exciting! This guy turned it into Marvel versus DC, but being like, <laughs> DC doing diversity right. Your move, Marvel. And it's like, wait, is this? Is it? Is doing, it? Like Joss Whedon's an established direct. Like it's he doesn't. Not a gang he fight. Didn't, he didn't yeah. need this. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Seventeen like, said. Uh, Seventeen said, "Give a woman a chance with a male superhero." I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. But this is the only opportunity where they can say, like, where it's like, we have to have a woman director. And, mm-hmm. like, because on the other side, they say, like, oh, women can't direct male-led superhero films because they're women. They would, they, what do they know about being a male superhero? But how come it doesn't apply the other way? I don't think it should. Sure. I, think, I, would, I would love it if Warner Brothers hired you know. a, f- a female mm-hmm. director mm-hmm. to direct... Uh, Flash, Booster Gold, Green Lantern, Flash, whatever, Flash, because we lost the director. He would have been Flash. amazing yeah. for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that would that would mm-hmm. be great. Mm-hmm. That would be great. So, um, Eleanor Scorone is asking, "Do you guys?" Uh, it ran away, but he's basically asking, "How do we feel about them using New Fifty Two instead of DC Rebirth for Batgirl?" Well, the, the, we can go into that a little bit because there's different versions. One moment, hold there's on. There's different versions. Is that four? You can look at that's four. That is a subscribe. That's a four that's a subscribe. subscribe. And with that, we leave you he, with. Uno mas. Just Uno yeah. mas. Uh, Uno mas. The, the, there's, there's the new 52 Batgirl where she just came back from being paralyzed yes. in a wheelchair mm-hmm. that, ha- that launched in 2011. But then there's also the Batgirl of Burnside, mm-hmm. which came out recently with the like, with the sort of like DCU sort of a little bit of a mini relaunch where uh-huh. she goes mm-hmm. to like a hipster neighborhood and she's got the cool purple and yellow boots costume mm-hmm. with the cool purple bike. I think that's the Batgirl we're going to see. I cool. think we're going to see Batgirl of Burnside where she is college age, like hipster, and she's Oracle. Dope. And she, like, well, I they think did that's say it was going to be New 52. But New 52 it could just be anything from 2011 to now. That's true. They wouldn't mm-hmm. say, like, mm-hmm. it's going to be based off of the, the DCU. It, right, like, right, people right. would be like, what the fuck is that? Because yeah. they don't know what right. their branding little movie right, was. Right. They're not going to say, you know, um, yeah, it, it, I think that's what it is. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm feel like that's what it's, it's what we're going to see. Mm-hmm. It's a very well, high, like high selling, like trade paperback that volume one back or the burn side, even mm-hmm. though it's issue like 30 something or whatever. Cause it was again, a little mini relaunch. Right. So I think that's what we're going to see. I'm, I'm mm. honestly, I, I think the fact that it's too bat centric is really not making me excited for this. Right. Sure. It's just, I'm so like Batman's great. Yeah, you know, he's Batman's great. A, he's a gr- he's one of the best superheroes he's one because of the best. he's not a superhero. But at the same time, we need to get away from this guy. Mm-hmm. Like Joss Whedon, he's an amazing director, and I would love to see him do anything else. But mm-hmm. 
this whole banking on the bat mm. universe i want to see it and i love the bat family and i think they could bring something awesome it feels like the only way we could get that other stuff i know i is know if warner brothers likes is like but let us make a bunch of move money please like let us please make a Let's bunch yeah. of money first and then we'll do and then we'll do the other ones and then we'll please. take a risk please please please, no. please. Like, no, let us no, make a it's, bunch it's, of money it's like, I, okay. i'm going to get excited once Trailer. Josh shows me something that yeah. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Like so he cuz when he came out with the Avengers he was showing me things that I didn't even know that I wanted yep. and then suddenly right. I was like this is amazing. So hopefully yeah. he can pull the same thing with Batgirl. This is a great comment. Starry Bright says as a wheelchair user I'm disappointed they went with the fixed Batgirl. Interesting. That is an amazing I mean, point. Yeah. Just because they say new 52 doesn't mean that this is because again this movie universe the continuity is all fucked up. It yeah, doesn't follow yeah. comic books. Right. Superman's dead. Batman's already been Batman for Batman's 20 years. Batman's already been Batman for 20 years and he already did the Dark Knight Returns story. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, what was that? What was that? And where does the newborn go from here? The net is vast and infinite. Mm, what? I don't What? And where does the newborn The go net from? is vast and infinite. Is that the Matrix? Vast. No. Uh, no. Is that the movie The Net with Sandra Bullock? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Might be hackers. Uh, the hackers? Net hackers? Good, good guess, Cameron. Oh, could be I'm going to say The Net. Cameron's going to say Hackers. Do you guys have any other guesses? I'm going to I'll go with Matrix just because I don't know what else it could be. Follow us, fails. Just go surf ninjas. I'm going to say Richie Rich. Richie Rich. Good Richie call. Rich. Richie Rich. Good yeah. call. Good call on Richie Rich. Good question. What's the, what's the real answer? It's probably not Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Is it, go- <laughs> is it Ghost in the Shell? The Ghost anime? Ghost in the Shell? Very nice. Oh. Very nice pull. Oh. So back to, right. that, back to that comment. I feel like, because I was having this discussion about this, I was explaining to uh, a friend of mine like what I love about Batgirl, and I love the era where she was Oracle. I was yeah. also very upset when they magically cured her to bring her back to. Yeah. And, the, and I think the reason they right, did right. it is because they wanted to continue to sell the killing joke as a graphic novel. Mm-hmm. And to do mm-hmm. that, they had to say, DC Comics had to say, like, this is still valid. It still counts, even though they did a restart. So in this comic storyline, Batgirl, that had already happened because it's like, well, they want you to go buy that comic. And it was mm-hmm. important to her character and all this other stuff. But, but I think that they're setting up a world where that could still happen. Mm-hmm. This Batgirl could mm-hmm. be a movie. At the end of this movie, she could get a sequel. At some point in the future, she could become paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Be, be confined to a wheelchair mm-hmm. and then become Oracle and be this, this super hacker, superhero character that would be for disabled people around the world the most incredible, the same way that Daredevil is a hero for the blind community. That's who Oracle was yeah, in comic books. Yeah, I mean, books. Oracle was great. I, killing Joke was is I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you have to do that. But the thing is, is that like yeah. Oracle was such a great superhero. Exactly, it was a great was so outcome good. of that. And then the way they just like fixed her and like, oh, she's it cured and stuff. It yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's but again, I think it's because they were they, they weren't quite sure how their their timeline was going to work. But now. It's all up in the air. So I agree, but yeah. that doesn't mean that we're not going to see. Because again, to get to the great Oracle stuff, just like many characters that have evolved superhero characters, you kind of have to do. You have to do a Captain America movie where he's in World War II. Yeah. Then you do the yeah. him in the modern day where it's like, what an interesting character who has mm-hmm. to you know mm-hmm. deal with. Like, Fish could you water, skip yeah. to that? Sure, but it, I don't think it has the same impact. Mm-hmm is if watching both of those movies and seeing where the character came from, to see Batgirl, this acrobat, up in the air, flying on rooftops, to then have to go through this really horrific event, whether they do Killing Joke or not, and I would recommend they I, didn't. They, I, they, they probably will not, they probably especially will since not. the animated movie if, just if came they're out not and doing, it didn't do well. If so. Marvel didn't do, exactly, if they, Marvel didn't do Hank Pym wife-beating the Wasp, his wife in their movies because they're like, eh, but they still had like Hank Pym the character and he still lost it. Like, they're gonna find workarounds to get to Oracle, it's this incredible story of perseverance. It, mm-hmm. it like summarizes what Batman is all about is, is, is perseverance and taking a traumatic thing and mm-hmm. you know turning mm-hmm. it into a, a, this beautiful positive thing. I'm still saying I think we yeah. could still see it. Um, for yeah. people in I would love chat that. who are saying that uh, like oh it's sexist to have uh, to say that men should love be able to this. Direct love this argument. Female led <laughs> films. I I mean I just if you look at the statistics I can't remember what is it like four out of the last like 125 like top rated films of the yeah. past like year or something. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm, somebody can pull up statistics, but. Uh, women do not direct. Women are not allowed to direct, essentially. Mm-hmm. And uh, especially if there are like male-led movies, which is the majority of movies are, um, women are not considered e- for it at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the one opportunity that they do get, if it is a female-led film, and you take that away from them, that's 
I mean, well, that's, there are, the argument that I'm seeing in the chat room is yeah. people are saying directing should be based on skill. It should be based on skill alone. <laughs> and it's that's like, the thing. Are you saying that there are no qualified women? If, it, no, directors what they're saying is that, that I think people in the chat are not understanding they, that they assume that there's just as many male. That it's an yeah. even yeah. level playing field. They assume it is it's Hollywood not. is just it's a, like fair. A total yeah. fair it's totally thing fair. And like right. everybody gets the same and chance. Not, I mean, all you know. Right. No. And it's yeah. And it's not. It's, oh, it is. Oh yeah. shit. What have I been so working in then? If if you're gonna say that, you have to understand the historical context you have to understand like Erica's mentioning the statistics of who directs what kinds of movies and you have to look at all that stuff it's the bigger picture stuff uh, uh, Erica's not saying that only women can direct only female but superhero things but it's like this things, is one of the rare opportuni opportunities that are given yeah. to women to direct is when they have female led mm -hmm. movies and so if you take that away then that reduces <laughs> even saying, further the, the amount of movies mm -hmm. at the very yeah. least like just at give the them at least, least films that have female yeah. characters in them at the very least because they are not given films that have male characters in them yeah generally yep. absolutely yeah. true true Agreed. absolutely too true we'll see what happens yeah. with uh yeah. with both sides i hope we get that scene i don't fucking care <laughs> <laughs> dad you're fucking grounded me. you're grounded yeah, I, I didn't do it i don't care <laughs> i am interested to see what's gonna happen like i because this is <laughs> gonna be after wonder woman Think it's gonna be after up. justice mm -hmm. league Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a couple years away. Like yeah, 2020, 2021. 2019 probably. If if they start, if it gets going and it's full steam ahead, and by the end of the year they've cast the movie, it'll be out in 2019. But in between, then we're still gonna get Justice League, potentially Justice League Two. We're gonna get Shazam. Um, we're gonna yeah. maybe that Nightwing movie, the Batman movie, possibly Man of Steel Two. Flash hopefully will come mm -hmm, out by then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully. I'm I overall I'm I'm happy with kind of how the DCEU has reshifted its strategy, even though it's very Batman heavy. I don't know if that's because they feel very confident in the Batman property. Mm -hmm. Whatever, man. Just make good movies. That's all yeah. everyone's asking for. Just make for. some good-ass movies. Nobody yeah. wants a bad movie. Yeah. Just do a Martian Manhunter origin story where it's set in the I 50s wish, and he shapeshifts the identity of a black John man. John Jones. I just yeah. want to see yeah. that movie in the DC oh, universe. Oh, man. So bad. Yeah. Yeah. says, which would we prefer, a Batgirl film or a Batwoman film? I really would have loved to see a Batwoman film. <laughs> Batman woman would be dope. Batwoman would have been so Somebody asked us I think so it's dope, but I don't think you can overwhelm the audience with a Batwoman you because can't. they're like, but who? How? What? Yeah. Who? Because she's yeah. not she's really she's related bit, to that. Exactly. You got you to stepping what I stones. Like. Yeah. Sure. I think stepping stones, though. I think you can get to that. Um, you can yeah. get to those characters who are kind of she's like a phase like two or phase three yeah, 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 totally. yeah. Mm -hmm. and there's agreed, a lot of agreed. other phase one characters they still have to sort of right. like establish that's like an Ant-Man you do that later yep. on yep yeah. yeah. yep all right uh, best of luck uh, one I more want topic for the men to be yeah. good uh, so my topic, oh my God, I changed my topic at the last minute because this just came out like today and I'm so thrilled. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was an April Fool's Day joke, but it wasn't. Oh my God. Uh, so I, we might as well pull up the teaser first. Oh yeah, go for it. It's right there. <laughs> Adam's going to kill this fucking Yeah, Adam's going to kill that fly. You pull up that teaser. I pull up the teaser. Are you ready? Are we, are we ready, Lucas? Yeah. 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 People of Earth, did you really think you'd seen the last of me? Sorry, we need more volume. You gotta turn it up down there. Turn it down. Yeah. Okay. I have to move this book out of the way, and okay. the book is gone forever. And it. Okay. Because you're at keeping my house, it. Because it's, it's at, at my house. house. Okay. Tight, tight, tight. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hector. People of Earth, did you really think you'd seen the last of me? <laughs> Don't you know an invader never stops until their mission is complete? I've been watching you. Waiting, and soon your world will be mine. <laughs> no, Kerr, I'm being serious. But I like your voice. It's funny. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I'm being, you know, terrifying and spooky. Ooh, okay. Soon your world will be. Nope, you ruined it, Kerr. Nice going. Ah. Invading <laughs> soon ish. 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 Yeah. Ish. Oh my god! Ish. Oh! Okay, so, all right. So, uh, the most amazing TV series ever to grace Nickelodeon 
Uh, just it was it had two seasons in the 2000s, early 2000s before it was canceled. Uh, Jonan Vasquez, uh, creator, uh, is coming back. He he's writing this new one. Uh, the original voice cast is coming back. Melissa Fawn as Gaz, Andy Berman as Dib, uh, Rosemary Ricky Simmons as Gurr, uh, Invader Zim as as, uh, as as oh my as god, Invader as, Zim. Yeah, Invader Zim is, is um, don't tell me. Angry Beavers. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, a. <laughs> yep. Uh, 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 no, yes. Yeah. Richard Horvitz, Richard Horvitz. Yeah. Uh, Richard Horvitz, I, I'm so thrilled. They're coming back with a 90 minute movie for TV. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is, uh, it's just, it's gonna be so great. The original voice cast is all coming back, and they mm -hmm. said they're gonna add new casts later. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's all we know. Jonah Vasquez is involved, and yep. you know if he's involved, that. It's it's gonna be good. It's legit. It's that means so it's legit. legit. And yeah. I I mean I feel like the audience has matured more, and so the gloves mm -hmm. are off. They're, they've the creators have matured more. Oh, the creators have matured Jonah more. Jonah was in his early twenties when know. he did yeah. the show. Yeah. Oh, he boy. has learned so much since I know. then. <laughs> plus, <laughs> yeah. plus, it has earned them a buttload of money with all the merchandise and stuff. They're gonna mm -hmm. let him do mm -hmm. what he mm -hmm. wants because mm -hmm. they they were really on him originally in the two thousands. You know, but they're like. That joke's a little dark, mm -hmm. so it's, it's gonna be real. To be fair, all of those jokes were really fucking dark. Yeah, they, they were. were. They all super were. dark. They the were. whole show was just dark. <laughs> so, Erica, seeing as how people have grown up, how do you expect it to change, and what do you want? Wait, to first see? of all, yeah. what the fuck is this? Oh, oh. oh. I don't okay. know what this is. Oh my okay. god, I'm so okay. sorry. <laughs> so I just assumed. Uh, Invaders in is is a uh, is a animated show. Mm -hmm. About this alien who comes, who alien who comes from the planet Urk. He's just this huge loser on his planet. With with, but he's he's an incredible egomaniac, megalomaniac, and he uh, is being sent to this uncharted planet, mm -hmm. which turns out to be Earth, full of extremely stupid adults. Uh, mm -hmm. And he, he brings this little malfunctioning robot Gur mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. uh, he, it looks familiar, but yes, I don't think I watched. He, I'm sure he, he runs around, up against. A Have dib. you ever stepped inside of a hot topic? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then you've seen Invader They Zim. literally yeah. put you yeah. in the yeah. face yeah. with Invaders yeah. and stuff. Uh, okay. uh, and, and Dib is this school kid uh, from his from his school where he goes to learn about the human earthlings. Mm. Uh, and Dib is the only person who realizes that he's obviously an alien. His disguise mm -hmm. isn't mm -hmm. very good, but of course the adults are all blithering idiots. Um, and so Dib, who is an aspiring paranormal investigator, has figured it out and is doing all that he can to expose him. Yeah. And uh, Dib's like grumpy little video game addicted sister is always just kind of along for yeah, the ride. She's pretty rad. She's so great. It's, 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 the show when did this come out? It's like 2002. 2003. Oh, well then everyone's like, how could you have not watched yeah. this? Like I was in high school. I didn't yeah. watch, like yeah. I didn't watch yeah. that. I was, in I was watching like, like I was boring and I was watching porno. movies. <laughs> yeah. That's not and, boring. And and porno. It's not boring. Yeah, porno. It's not boring. The yes. show was really That was dark. 2004. It was really cynical. <laughs> it was really satirical. Mm, it really yeah. spoke to a lot of. Uh, I thought people were going to say like '90s yeah. when Doug was on. Well, like it was, no, it was like. So if you watch it now, I don't know if it'll. Gothy it's a goth, yeah. crowd because mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Jonah Vaz Vazquez came from goth comics. Essentially, he had really disturbing stuff like Johnny the Homicidal Maniac mm -hmm. or Squee, mm -hmm. and they were all just really violent, grotesque, cynical comics. But Invader mm -hmm. Zim had a lot of heart. To it, in addition mm -hmm. to all of that, mm -hmm. and literal, sort of literal hearts, yeah. <laughs> literal <laughs> hearts. It was yes. gross. Yes. There's one episode where where he has he realizes that in order to pass as human, he has to have human organs, uh, and it just gets so gross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Price man. Price Cream Eyes says, "I'm happy for everyone that's into this, but wow, I do not care in the slightest about '90s kids cartoons, nostalgia circle jerks." <laughs> I mean, if there's <laughs> well, more jokes on you. It's from the early 2000s, yeah. so yeah. you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's the early 2000s circle jerk, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I mean, it's, the thing is, is that there's still so much story to be told in this world. It was canceled before its mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. because. Essentially, it, it just wasn't getting the kind of ratings that they wanted it to, and uh, you know Found they were constantly audience. having to fight with Jonan Vasquez about the content. Since mm -hmm. the show mm -hmm. went off the air, Jonan has done other stuff, and he's mm -hmm. also been recently doing uh, uh, Invader Zim comics, I believe, yes. for IDW. Yes, yes. Or it might be. Bo I think it's boom. IDW. It's IDW. Might be I IDW. thought it was IDW. Invader Zim comics, which are fantastic, and he has gone on record saying that he thinks that the comics are better than the show. Right. Just because his sort of storytelling has like has has refined. Yeah. And so he's I mean, there's a lot of like random. Comics 
moments, you know, yeah. really silly uh, stuff in the show. And I think that the comic has kind of reined it in a little more. The storytelling's a little yeah. tighter. Uh, and, and there's just more to be done. And the, the original creator is way into bringing it back. Mm-hmm. And it's just mm-hmm. a movie. It's just, it's, this isn't a series. Who Oni, knows? thank you, Teen Girl Stuff. Thank you. They're Oni Press. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Maybe. Oni Press. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's Derek so says, so is the animation good or are the story and yeah. characters the main hook? It's good. Oh, the animation is fantastic Super as well. Cool. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the storytelling with the animation and the and the uh, environments is yeah. incredible. Yeah, the it's backgrounds. Just, like, if you the, look at the backgrounds, there's yeah. just the weirdest, craziest stuff going on in the background. And really good there's designs. so many random jokes that like the voice actors would just throw in there and they'd just animate them. Mm-hmm. The only reason why I watch this show... <laughs> Was because I was, so what, what year did it come out? 2001. 2001. So I was yeah. a junior in high school at that point. Oh, wow. So I was, I'm 33 years old, my friend. Wow. <laughs> Happy I birthday. I was a junior in high school. Wow. Uh, and so the only reason I watched this show is because I was really getting into drawing and art yeah. at that point. Yeah. And so I was doing a lot of graffiti. And this this guy's style reminded me of that. I was like, oh, this is interesting. I couldn't really get into the show because the characters were a little too kooky for me. Mm-hmm. It's a really, really kooky style. Yeah, it's super it's a super kooky show, but the art style to me was just it was just on point. It was yeah. really good. The animation was there. Everything was good. It's just I never really took that deep dive. It's into definitely that show. a creator's vision. Mm-hmm. This yeah. show is Joan and Vasquez's it's vision. Very, as yeah. much as it could be filtered through a Nickelodeon, yeah. right, right. you know, which like was so filter. wild. What, w- yeah. I was so floored by it because it was so different than the things that were coming out right at the time. Like SpongeBob was yeah, huge. Exactly. And exactly. I mean, I, I, think I think they were still doing Rugrats. Yeah, like, Rugrats. To, yeah. to know what Nickelodeon is and it to felt watch like that. It was more in line with Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was Ren and Stimpy or even Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, it, yeah. it just felt it was so interesting there was nothing else like it on TV guys and 23 then, minutes and Cameron leaves oh how are we doing on our Cameron how are we doing on our Cameron oh come bucks. on 35% we want the last Cameron yeah, I guess it's not happening I'm full of cake and burrito I'm food coming right now <laughs> 23 <laughs> food coming. minutes I'm gonna take a fucking so nap I, 10 minutes I, I'm, <laughs> I haven't seen it within the past like three years maybe yeah. but like I mean I watched all of those episodes so many times my friend mm-hmm. and I used to have like our OC's original characters you know we do like fan fiction and fan mm-hmm, art mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I know I'm such a dork mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm. so into Invader Zim like I, I dressed up Great. I went one night I, I dreamt that I that I cosplayed as Gaz and met in, in Jordan Vasquez at Comic Con so I was like well I guess I gotta do that uh, and I just I wore it to Comic Con and randomly he happened to be there and I met him and it was great. That's cool. Yeah. He's super cool and nice and awesome. Yeah, funny. he's just a really chill dude. He's a really chill yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, I had a chance to uh, interview him a couple months ago. I okay, that's why it sounds so familiar because I remember you telling me this. I've known yeah. about this for months. Yeah. Yeah. Had to keep I it shush 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 shush. Uh, shush 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 shush. I also ran into the uh, voice actor who does Gur, Ricky Simons, uh, uh, at WonderCon yeah. on Saturday. And I said hi to him, and I'm like, hi, I interviewed you a couple months ago. He goes, oh, yeah, how you doing? Great. He said, oh, did you hear they're going to make the announcement on Tuesday? And I was like, oh, what? Oh, he goes, yeah, for the special. I'm like, oh, that's I gonna, like how they gonna, know that you know. Yeah. <laughs> you find out <laughs> everything uh, before everyone. Yeah, so me, and he's like, oh, you work for Nickelodeon. He's like, you're the Nickelodeon yeah, guy. Yeah. And, he, and I told him, I'm like, you know it's going to crack the internet in half, right? And he's like, I hope so. All right, we'll see. Like, yeah, it's very. He's a comic artist. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is. He's a colorist. Yeah. yeah. In fact, he was a colorist on the show, yeah. and he did the voice of Gurr. They couldn't find another voice actor, Jonan, that, mm-hmm. to like do what he wanted. Yeah. So they just let him do the thing. Mm-hmm. I was at Nickelodeon this morning doing something and um, uh, my friend who is an editor was the one actually putting the finishing touches on this. So I saw nice. it this morning at like 10 a.m. He showed Damn me that editor. little tease of Invader Zim and Gurr talking and I was like, this is great. <laughs> this is great. So, I, I, I watched it. Yeah. I was just on my phone in the studio when I when somebody they posted about it or something mm-hmm. and I just, I was, cry a little bit because yeah. man I just because it's, it's here you, like yeah. I I this is not a reboot it's, it's not a redo it's it's like it's not and a look, sequel in a lot of ways it's just continuing the, the storytelling the, that's the, still going yeah the, the people that are in charge of these kinds of decisions are not the same people that are in charge back in 2001 mm-hmm. at Nickelodeon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so a lot of that is like hey do you want to come back and do the thing that you were really good at yes. that people loved like do you want to yes. come back and do that for a special yes. and it's Exciting! Like that's what's cool is that I, that all I, the pieces are here for this yeah. to be actually good. Mm-hmm. This isn't just like a they're trying to get money. This is like Jordan Vasquez wants this. 
I trust yeah. this vision. Yeah. Oh my god. Claire, Claire down. 58 asks, uh, "What show do you think we'll get the treatment? We get this treatment next?" Oh, Wait, dude, I'm fine. Hector knows. I've already gotten some Hector, yeah, Hector. I might know. You're gonna we'll tell us after sure. the show. Hey. Oh. You can't do that on television. That one needs a reboot. People are scared to death of. You see, I find out what they're frightened of on this radio, and that's what I try to give them with my circus. It's a public service, but this is the station that comes in the loudest of all. Is that We're Back a Dinosaur Story? I know, story? I was about to say. <gasps> Professor School oh, oh, it is. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I knew that yep. one. Yep, yep, yep. Cook. Yep. They're going to bring something back. Bring back Amazing. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. Are You, are you Afraid of the Dark? Tales from the Crypt already. That shit was scary. Yeah. Yep. That shit was scary. Oh, Tales from the Crypt? I can't wait for mm-hmm. you, Tales from the Crypt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to see what happens if you touch that. Come well, here. Well, I feel like... You know, uh, Black Mirror is this amazing Close. modern update <laughs> of those anthology sci-fi shows. Yeah. I feel like there is room for an anthology scary show for kids that does incorporate more modern themes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally. Like, Look out for also, the internet. Like, uh, yeah, cyber, have yeah, you, cyberbullying. Have you? <laughs> yeah, but have you watched any of Are You Afraid of the Dark oh, recently? It's a hold up for shit. It is so bad. It's. I think they shot it in like Canada, and it's. Like wait, the old oh. show or yeah. the, are they the shooting new episodes? Oh, the, the old show. show, yeah. But I will say that intro to that show is probably one of the scariest intros I've seen for a TV show. Yeah. Or maybe I just oh, remember Goosebumps. it being Goosebumps really scary. Too. My favorite thing is the little kid yeah. acting on that show. The way they always did the camera is they zoom in and turn the camera sideways because they go, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no reaction. That's true. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 we're one step away from the giveaway, but we're, oh, man, we're still like we're d- we're 40%, 40% in. I don't know if we're going to make it. Cam, what's your rant going to be about? Tease us again. Oh, oh, oh come got? on. What do we got? $100. Cool. Dang it, make this camera and happen. <laughs> Quote, you know, it's easier to pull the trigger than play guitar. Easier to destroy than to create. Is that Desperado? I'm going to say <laughs> Airheads. You're going to say Desperado. I'm saying Aladdin. Aladdin. Good well, guess. Yeah. Good guess. Yeah, I think that was Aladdin. There's definitely guitars in Agrabah. Yeah. yeah. Cam, you um, got a guess on that one? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Erica, anything coming to mind? Dustin, do you know Dustin what it is? Dustin says The Lion King. The Lion King? Yeah. They're all about guitars and pulling them triggers. Pretty yep. metal, brother. Oh, I just can't wait <laughs> to be king. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget when Scar gave the devil horns after the story move pops yeah. off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Satan. <laughs> Ch- yeah, chasing Amy. Yes. <gasps> it's impossible. Lois could never have Superman's baby. Do you think her <laughs> fallopian tubes could handle his sperm? I guarantee he blows a load like a shotgun right through her back. Chasing Amy. What about her womb? No. Do you Close. think it's strong enough to carry Close. his Go back child? One. Nope, up one. <laughs> Is it um? Is Jay and Silent Bob strike back? Oh, That's two thousands. Okay. Small rats. Oh, it's yep. True. Small rats. Small rats. There it is. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. There's another one. I think it's we're here in one. a second. That's a That's good one. That's pretty good. Damn. Wait, did we guess the first that. one? Yeah, mall rats. About super sperm, mall rats. No, the one before that. Before that. Uh. Oh, uh, I don't know if it was. It's air, is it Airheads? Let us know what it was. What is it? Desperado. Oh, it's Desperado. Oh, Desperado. Oh, Did you say it? Oh. Here we go. Here's, Here's the, next the next one. one. Oh, shit. Can we On the reach roll now, baby. We're almost there. I'm sick of being ashamed. I don't mind being dejected and rejected, but I'm not going to be ashamed about it. At least pain is real. I mean, you look around and you see nothing is real, but at least the pain is real. For that rant. That's so emo. That's so independent. Good guess. Will Smith talking to uh, <laughs> Good guess. Uh, I'm gonna guess Mario Brothers the movie. Ah. I'm gonna guess. Can't hardly wait. Wait, am I right? Is it's it the probably crow? the crow? Erica is right. I love the I'm crow. I'm pretty sure you're right. <laughs> there it, you go. It sounds uh, like the crow. I love, I love the crow. Who's it, who's the cop in the crow again? It's it's isn't it Ernie Hudson? Ernie Hudson. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so not great. Rain forever. <laughs> nice. Pump up is the volume. Nineteen ninety. Yep. What is? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Guys. Yeah. But uh, Hector, was later her movie. Hector, you want to remind people what's in that? Oh yeah, in that's that right. Super we got one crazy more mega box. If we get one more sub. You would get a free. I will ship this to you personally myself. An XL uh, Walking Dead T-shirt that's super badass. I believe in Rick Grimes. Look at this. This is rad. You get a little uh, toy there in that, that packaging. I believe in. Was Rick it Pump Grimes. Up the Volume? What is Pump Up the Volume? What's it's in a here, Christian Hector? Slater movie. 
What's there in is here? An, uh, a little a exclusive host. like Kid Robot uh, Rick Grimes figure. Okay. You can only and get it's in completely this closed off, so you don't yep. know what it looks like. A <laughs> walking you didn't dead like it. pin. Yeah. 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 A walking yeah. dead yeah. pin yeah. with yeah. Michonne. Yeah. It's badass. And show those bad boys off. Ooh, I got two. You get the other one. <laughs> Extremity Outcast. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. Big Lebowski. Ooh. Has to be. Oh. Has to be. And you get a little uh, season oh, three that download. Sound, that does sound pretty like the Big Lebowski. You can't get this unless well, you already pre ordered it. so classic. So I'm going to ship it to you, and mm -hmm, you'll mm -hmm, be really mm -hmm. lucky. Everything but that action figure. Had to keep it, but you can still track it down. That's Guys. on you. That's my favorite movie of all time. Big Lebowski? Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Oh. No, what? no, Misa, stay. Oh, that's true. Misa called Cha Cha Pinks. Misa, your humble and servant. Liam Neeson says. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Nice. The ability, I it to was, make you, uh, the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. It sounded no, like a no, John Goodman Misa, quote. Stay. It did. To Donnie. Yeah. yeah. It did. Yeah. What's up, what, Dustin? What's up? What's up? I thought it might have been the. Yo, so. Since we have that charity stream thing happening this week, mm -hmm. we're just going to call it at 300. Hey! Oh, yay! 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 All right, guys. Dustin is God. Dustin is you God. You guys have been awesome in the chat room, so this is uh, the this final camera. This one's for you. Oh! oh. Little bonus! Oh. Little bonus! 325. All major theme parks have delays. Jurassic mm. Park. When they opened Disneyland in 1956, I just nothing saw worked. That movie. Yeah, but John, if the Pirates of John, the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm going to say... Let's go faster. Uh, <laughs> Let's go faster. Arachnids. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. Tremors. All right. Get ready for the last one, y'all. This is a moment that was good. The history in the making, camera. folks. So, perhaps as a final one, a rant <laughs> and a plea. So, for those of you who do not know, in Hyper RPG, we have a YouTube channel now, which you should go there. We have a lot of great stuff. We have uh, trailer reactions, movie reviews. We also have uh, movie commentaries that we've been doing, and we're doing. We're going to announce what our next one is after that. The interesting thing we see a lot of in the comments section is people who get real saucy <laughs> when we point out our opinions <coughs> and our thoughts. Here's the thing, folks. Opinions and thoughts are quite personal, and uh, we might not agree on everything, but that's okay. The great thing about art is we can have discussions, and you want to have discussions. Discussions are beautiful things. However, if I don't like Suicide Squad, I'm not a stupid Marvel fuckboy. <laughs> I just didn't like Suicide what? Squad. What? You mean you mean you 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 can not it's like Suicide Squad? You can not like Suicide Squad. You can also have issues with some Marvel films, or maybe you love the Marvel films, or you love the DC films, and that's okay. But here's the thing about intelligent review and discussion: not every review and discussion is nitpicking because you disagree with it. Here's the interesting thing about nitpicking: it's the literal meaning of the word is the word itself. Nit picking. It's picking a nit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like Suicide Squad because I didn't enjoy the characters, the editing, or the, or the choices that were made in story and plot. That's not a nitpick. Just because you liked it and I did not, that is not a nitpick. A nitpick would be saying, I didn't like the movie because uh, Mr. Crocodile Man wore a jacket and I thought that was stupid and it threw me out of the whole movie. <laughs> That's a nitpick because what a character is wearing has nothing to do with plot, story, character, or art. You know, things that movies are actually about. <laughs> That's a nitpick. So if you're going to come at any of us or any other film reviewer or people you know, you can disagree, have discussion, go in there, jump in there and say, I like that movie and here's why and here's why it worked for me and we'll go happily go back and forth with you. However, if you curse at us or if you're gonna use words like nitpick, make sure you know what you're talking about because I will no longer debate apes. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, oh snap! Drop that I wish you had mic. a microphone. Drop that shit. God wow. damn! Woo! Cameron? 
fire. If you weren't that far, I'd come Straight over there and fire. hug you. That was beautiful. <laughs> Straight so fire. eloquent. Can we make that its own video on YouTube? I think we need to pay that before all of our videos. Be- before the trailer reaction? <laughs> <YouTube? Yeah>. PSA. <laughs> no, well, let's make this into a YouTube clip, and then we can just post it anytime Should. somebody posts yep. something on yep. YouTube. And then we, we just we link them to it. Just yep. link them. Just link them to it. Yep, yep. He will no longer debate a literal planet of oh, apes. apes. <laughs> <laughs> Planet oh, of it. apes. <laughs> oh my God! Strength uh, to strength. <laughs> Cameron, that thank you for amazing. that. That was wonderful. Thank you so Thanks, much, buddy. Cameron. It has been an honor and a privilege yeah. to be here for your camera. Thank, thank you so much. It's thank always fun. People, people are wondering where I'm going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be on, on Hyper. We're still doing movie stuff here on the channel. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. It was more about. Um, Coming up with different segments for the show, the Cameron thing I feel has kind of run its course to some extent. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe there'll be a summer special. Because mm-hmm. here's the thing: people are going to say stupid shit about terrible movies, <laughs> or stupid shit about great movies, and the fire will burn. Never. The fire rises. There will always be a platform for you here, there buddy. Pl- As Goldberg said on Monday Night Raw last night, <laughs> "Never say never." <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think that's a perfect opportunity to announce. What we're going to be doing next for audio commentary. Oh. We're recording Thursday, so I'll probably maybe be out Friday. Uh, next week. If possible, yeah, the next week. So right. next Friday, we're going to be releasing an audio commentary of this movie right here. Rogue Ooh. One, A Star Wars Story. Boom. Oh. So that's, gonna be, Boom. that's obviously going to be Boom. an anticipation for Star Wars Celebration. Mm-hmm. We'll put that out on Friday. And also next week, you better bet your little heinies. <laughs> That there will be a Star Wars trailer reaction video oh, yes. on Hyper RPG. Oh, yes. I'm going to cry my little eyes out. <laughs> Damn, Again. it's going to be good. Again. So look forward to that. If you haven't watched it already, we did one for Power Rangers a couple weeks ago. We did the 95 Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. Grab mm-hmm. your DVD. Head on over to the YouTube channel. Check that out. We're going to have a countdown clock so we you have can a- watch with us. You'll know where we are in the yep. movie. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. So you can follow along. Uh, we bring in some guests. We talk about the movies. We go a little bit behind the scenes on what it's about. And it's a, it's a really good time. So Claire58 asks, so Pooch is getting his own segment now, right? Claire, you're thirsty, girl. <laughs> Don't be thirsty. We're, we're there, there's, still, there's still a no nudity clause on Twitch. Calm down. We're Calm trying. Down. We're trying. But just, uh, Claire, tweet at Pooch for us. We'd yeah. Yeah. yeah, tell him that. Tell him that. Let him yeah. know what you said. Tweets for Pooch. Tell him that. Yeah, Rogue One, it'll be me and Adam along with uh, Whitney Moore and Elizabeth Harris. So that'll be uh, killer. And I ran into uh, Whitney at the party this weekend. And I said, hey, we're going to do uh, Rogue One. And she goes, Oh, I hated that movie. So this perfect, oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, so that commentary, it's going to get spicy. Yeah. It's going to be Star a spicy movie. Star Wars dudes broke, <laughs> dude broke one. Um, nice one. Um, broke that's, Bowl that's 14 says new Star Wars trailer next week. Star Wars celebration starts on April 12th, I believe. So yeah, that's, yeah. I think it's that Thursday or that Friday. So cool. speaking of trailers. Da, 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 da. It, nice, nice. Trailer time. Uh, trailer time. Oh, wait, we just got a subscriber. I think we hit the. Oh, line. shit, baby. Oh, Be stop. active in the chat. I need you to put the word invincible in the chat Beautiful. right now. We're Beautiful. gonna pick a random person to win this Skybound Mega Box. I'm gonna ship it to you, but you have to live in the continental United States. Oh. Huh. You gotta live in the continental US. Is that doable? Is that possible? I have to ask for that. To win. I'm shipping it. Shh. Oh. Okay. Wait, the keyword's invincible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Look at all those people trying to win some shit. What? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yay. It's such a good comic. Go read it. <laughs> Hopefully that movie's good. What, what would you say is the, is the one characteristic from one of the characters in Invincible that really sticks with you? Is that even possible to answer? Blood. Without giving too, without <laughs> giving too much away. Yeah. No. Banana, banana. <laughs> I want uh, Nolan, uh, aka Omni Man, is going to be a very pivotal character. Who? Avine. 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 Avine is the no, winner. B B B. Avine. 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 Avine is the winner. Avine. A B I N E. I can hear. Sweet. Avine is Sweet. the winner. Avine. Congratulations, Avine. You are going to get an We're awesome We're going to get your, yeah. your home address right now. They, I'll get that info, and then I'll ship this to you. Uh, Congratulations. Tomorrow. That's so awesome. there we go. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. To, to answer your question, Adam, my character that I think adds something yeah. is uh, Dinosaurus. Yeah. Because he, he – so what Dinosaurus is about – 
is bringing back balance to the world, mm -hmm. but he does shit like destroys all of Las Vegas because there's too many people there. Yeah. So oh, the, he, he like to him to him the ends justify the means. Turns it into glass. Yeah. Just it's just nuclear explosion. Just but nukes then the whole city is able to power like the rest of the United States. Right. With the heat coming off of the glass, he uses the solar energy to power the rest of the U.S. So. The ends justify the means in his book, and he's a yeah. super strong character, yeah. and he gets in these super violent fights with yeah. Invincible. So I think that character will be awesome to see. Sorry, Whitney. <laughs> Pretty shady. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you know what? Whitney. <laughs> we you know what, know Whitney? That, yeah. oh my God. Whitney. Tweet me a drawing. I'll do you a drawing, and then I'll take a picture of it, and then you can have a drawing through the internet. We know that Whitney flies in from Alaska to yeah. be on these shows. You gotta, hook you, you gotta hook your girl up, boy. Sorry. Is that Whitney? Are you in Alaska? She's in Suriname. What? She's in Suriname. Where's that? Uh, Africa. Oh, yeah. Tweet me something. I don't know if I can <laughs> ship you something. That might be too expensive I for think, me. I don't but know. I not to Africa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tweet is me something. She, I'll oh, do a drawing. Is she really out there? Yeah, I oh, think so. Awesome. Right? I don't know. I, don't I keep know. making this up. My, it might have. What's in your I fucking might, water, I, Erica? I, I, know. I might have dreamed all of this. <laughs> I might have poured myself a shot into my water. <laughs> what? No, I haven't. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Whitney set me straight. All right. I, I don't Look, know what I'm strike. talking about. Hector and Augustine, based on the Rex, I just ordered it Invincible, a hardback to read. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Yes. You're welcome, yes. Robert Kirkman. I don't know. <laughs> she I'm goes, sorry. Erica. <laughs> Erica. No, okay. I Africa. 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 <laughs> 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 I don't know. Woo. Uh-oh. I, I was listening to a podcast, and they were... South I mean, America. I was, South sure, America. I was, I was listening to a podcast, and they're talking about somebody who lived Sudan, in Suriname maybe? and in Africa. Where's co where and country is Suriname? I got it's the two in, mixed it's up. in South America. South somewhere. America. What country? I don't but know. What country? I don't know. I don't know what country it's South in. South America is a continent, y'all. Yeah. yeah. It's somewhere in South America. <laughs> Erica, we're to call it together. What do you <laughs> sound I don't know. Erica. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Hector, where do you live? Uh, At the park? Close by. Uh, no, Hector lives <laughs> in Mexico. Don't, don't, don't divulge that information okay. on the well, internet. I live, I live in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweet me. So, do, I'll do a drawing for you. You know what, guys? What? I was never good at geography. <laughs> Evidently not. <laughs> All right. Well, Real bad. Without any further ado, you know what, that Whitney? was exciting. I'll send you a drawing, okay? <laughs> let's, I'll send you a drawing. Let's get into <laughs> some trailers. <laughs> Hector lives in Chula Vista. Yeah, yeah. Used to. You guys. Trump that so hard. Oh, we're from uh, Africa. <laughs> it's a Brazil and it's very <laughs> real. I don't know. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's far away. It's like in Africa. I don't know. This person live somewhere. Oh, Africa. Yeah, it's in Africa. It's a country. It's not LA. It's not LA. It's in Africa. Just to point out, it actually it's a country in South America. Yeah. Suriname. Yeah. How is it pronounced? Why is I don't it fucking in, know. Why is it in That's the nation of the world song? Anyways, you know, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Siri, tell us about Suriname. Oh boy. No, let's watch trailers. Let's watch trailers. Here we go, Ferdinand. I gotta put this down. Okay. It seems like from the moment you're born, people think they got you all figured out based on how you look, how you talk, where you're from. But it's not that simple. Yes. Yeah. Especially when it comes to me. Ferdinand the Bull! <gasps> complex. Ah! I'm Ferdinand. You look at me and think big. You think scary. You think, well, at least he's not in the china shop. Oh no. <gasps> Baby <laughs> steps. Baby steps. Easy does it. <laughs> oh my god, this is stressing me out. Ah! Oh no! Catch him, catch him, catch him! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry. That was, I was younger then. Take me back to when. And I've not seen the boring fields. I'm in so with a human girl. I know <laughs> I've come, but I can't wait me to go home. Not a fighting bull. You don't need to be a fighting bull. You just have to look like a fighting bull. You see that barrel over there? Smash it to pieces. With my head? What else are you gonna hit it with? Ready. I'm on my way. Oh. <laughs> 
That's a good bit. Yeah. Sorry, I almost killed you. Ow. There's the shot. Oh my god. Do you I'm gonna, guys, so do you guys know I'm about Ferdinand vaguely the Bull? familiar with oh, yeah, Ferdinand. So yeah. Ferdinand the, familiar. I'm very close with Ferdinand the Bull because it was my first English or Spanish to English book that I read. Mm -hmm. And so it's when I was learning English and this was one of the books that they translated I over. It. I love it. So Ferdinand the Bull is a bull who he's the biggest bull in the yard. Wait, is this a children's book? It is a children's I book. I remember this. Yes. So he's the biggest bull in the yard, and the farmer's just like, this guy, need, this bull needs to fight. Yeah. He's like the prime fighting bull. This is who we need. But all Ferdinand wants to do is sit under the cork tree and, like, and just hang and out. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, just I be himself. This yeah. And so they try to force him to be in the bullfighting ring, but he doesn't do it because he's not a fighter. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. this is really interesting because so they're going into John that. John Cena, the fighter, to. Yeah. Be, okay. Yeah. I Hell think yeah. it's good Dude, casting. I think so too. He's real so sweet. Funny. And the oh, trailer was so Justin sweet. Is amazing. So sweet. Yeah. I'm 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 in I'm into this. And the animation looked really beautiful, yeah. really yeah. really understated and simple and, and when it needed to be cartoony it was cartoony and I like Blue Sky. I've loved some of the movies that they've done. That first Ice Age I think is still great. <clears throat> the first Ice Age is great. Mm -hmm. uh, robots was great. Remember mm -hmm. Robots? Yeah, I remember Robots. Robin Williams. Robin Williams, that red robot. So, <laughs> yeah, Robots, man. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you laughing, Cameron? Someone in the chat wrote Oh. Cry when RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, He's just gonna fly. Wouldn't <laughs> Mike songs ninety one says wouldn't Rock be better? Rock can't do every voice. Rock yeah. can't do yeah. everything. Yeah, he can't. They do couldn't it. afford yes. Rock. He did Moana because Disney fine. gave him more money. Let's, and let's and give Bruce other people a John chance Cena. to do things. I'm into this. This is yeah. one for me. I'm gonna go see it in theaters. Mm -hmm. It looked real sweet and cheesy, and I'm gonna be into this it. This has my my money for yeah. sure. For sure. He thinks it looked bulldiful. <laughs> bulldiful. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna definitely take my little cousin to see this. Yeah, this looks you, very you sweet. really need to. It's yeah. good. Yeah. It's, you're yeah. gonna. Uh, love it. This doesn't look like it's as much for me. I think. Uh, I do. I the animation style. I didn't care for too much, but it looked like it had a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. though, yeah. So that's. It's the story is 100 percent heart. Yeah. 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 That's all it is. That's yeah. all you can ask yeah, for with that. something like that, I can't right? Believe I remember yeah. that. Well, it's about to get really I, dark. I would read that. I would read that. Mm. Especially if I hear good things about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let uh, you know. Yeah, the yeah. winner was Rent Netflix, 52, mm -hmm. Skip 24, Theater 5. Naltorus, that has to be a trolley comment. I have not seen a stretch like that since I read a Fantastic Four comment, but that is such <laughs> a stretch. <laughs> what did they say? You're, you've got to be kidding me. You're kidding me. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow, John Cena the oh, fighter, oh. but he's sweet, so it's okay. Can you see the double standard you just did compared to the female director opportunity? I don't. <laughs> know. What I can't. I don't. I literally don't that. know what to say to that. I mean, it's just like you. You. The you most... didn't even find straw for that straw, man. You <laughs> made him out of fart air. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> the fart man. <laughs> I'm hearing stretching sound effects yeah. from like the Herculoids gleeping gloop right now. Also, <laughs> also, <laughs> can I get a, can I get a ten second on the cam? <laughs> give, <laughs> give cam give cam an extra ten seconds, please. Yo, I host a wrestling show here. Y'all motherfucker know wrestling's fake, right? He ain't really a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh my god. You did oh, forget the troll email. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, Hercules. <laughs> and with Hercules. that, <laughs> next one. This oh is amazing. God. I can't wait. What's along what you can and cannot say on a billboard? I assume you can't say nothing defamatory and you that can't say fuck, piss, or cunt. That right? Yeah. Or anus? I think I'll be all right then. I guess you're Angela Hayes' mother. That's right. Mangela Hayes' mother. I, I can't understand what you're saying. So, Mildred Hayes, why did you put up these billboards? My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department okay. is too busy torturing black folks to solve actual crime. What the hell is this? Dixon, I'm in the middle of my goddamn Easter dinner. Sorry, kids. I know, Chief, but I think we got kind of a problem. Sunshine beating on a good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like a bitch, Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. Oh, We've shit. had two official complaints about those billboards. From who? The lady with a funny eye. A lady with a funny fucking eye? And a fat dentist. There's a lot of good friends of Willoughby in this town, Miss Hayes. Ow! Ah! Ah! 
Oh, you didn't happen to drill a little hole in the dentist today, did you? Of course not. Ah? Huh? I said, of course not. I'm sorry about Angie, but the town is dead set against these billboards. You know who threw that can? What can? How about you, sweetheart? Uh, no, I, I didn't really... <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuckhead! What? Don't say what, Dixon, when she comes in calling you a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> the more you keep the kids in the public eye, the better your chances are getting it solved. And when I see the sun. You know, if you hadn't stopped coming to church, you'd have a little bit more understanding of people's feelings. All this anger, man. It just begets greater anger. <laughs> In three, two, one. And as sad as the spectacle of these billboards might be, this reporter, for one, hopes this finally puts an end to the strange saga of the three billboards outside. This doesn't put an end to shit, you fucking retard. This is just a fucking start. Why don't you put that on your good morning Missouri fucking wake up broadcast, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I will. Best trailers I have seen in a long, Holy long time. It's so oh I, my god, that was hilarious. Oh my god. So I saw I oh saw Seven god. Psychopaths, and I I honestly didn't like that movie that much. But this looks fucking hilarious. Oh this my is, god. You gotta see him, Bruce. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay, I gotta add that to my list. Oh Going to the theater god. for that. Yeah, that, yeah. that yeah. looks yeah. amazing. Hysterical. That looks that great. That was hilarious. <laughs> that, that ending was worth the ticket price alone. Yeah. Oh. Get yeah. that lady's out of control, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. That's the thing with Frances McDormand. She ha- she she's like so she good. does these like kooky performances. But she's so like pitch perfect yeah. all the time, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just, oh my it's just, god, she sells it. I feel like so many times there are so many uh, jokes about like, oh, this character swears a lot, and that's funny. But yeah. just her delivery is so mm-hmm, pitch mm-hmm, perfect. Mm-hmm, yep. Uh, was, that was so 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 good. I, I'm with whoever just said it. Kicking this kids in the nuts. Best part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely the best part. Well, I don't so know what you. Bam. What an amazing cast too. How about you, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh my god. We just got a new sub, guys. Nice. Uh, Viking thank something you. something. Thank I forgot you your name, but thank you for subbing. Thanks for show. Well, thanks for the yeah, sub. Add that to my. What? A, that's show. like that's such hey, a great him. cast. Yeah. Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, yeah, Francis yeah. McDormand. Who else was in there? Uh, um, um, the kid. I forget his name. He was an X-Men, though. X-Men First Class. Yeah. And he was in uh, Get Out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the sub. Mm -hmm. The winner is theater. 67 people voted. Yeah. Yeah. That is an overwhelming theater. That is the funniest trailer I've seen in a long time. It is so hard to cut comedy trailers, I gotta say. Perfect that it was was red band. Like, I don't don't think they should do a green band. No, No, they they really don't need to censor any of that. Green band trailer would be boring. Yeah, she does it. Jabber Walking D says she does it like a normal person, not like she is being played for laughs. Right. We've all heard that crazy woman in the grocery Mm -hmm. store before. Yeah. 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 It's called Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, ah. Missouri. I'm in. So, Dude, I'm so in. let's do uh, it. And then it comes out. Oh, it doesn't have a, well, this doesn't have a release in IMDb, but maybe it's listed somewhere now that the trailers come out. Oh, I think it's coming out in the summer, I think. Is it? I feel like it's like August or something. Yeah, I mean, look at this damn cast. Woody Harrelson, Caleb Landry's his name, Sam mm-hmm. Rockwell, Abby Cornish, Peter Dinklage, Francis McDormand. Peter Dinklage, the dink. Lucas the Hedges, dink. Lucas Hedges from Manchester by the Sea. Wow. John Hawks, I mean. The dink. Ridiculously good cast. Man, the trailer was, deserved a sub. That was huh? amazing. It just says 2017, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. The movie cool. looks hilarious. Yeah, we'll right. go see it. It'll probably be playing at the Lemley. I'll go. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be great. 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 It's so great. It's great. So great. All right, here we go. Next trailer. Queen of the Desert. Only a minute 50, okay? Every step in the desert, life and fire claim me, and I'm consumed. I would like to introduce Gertrude Lothian Bell. You will not scare the young man your intelligence. Get me out of here anywhere, please. What about Tehran? It is the secret epicenter of the world. I love it here. It's the Arab nations who are awakening. This is their achievement. This is true, Gertrude, darling. Darling? I'm not sure the right man for you had been born yet. Gertrude, you're very smart. The woman alone. Venturing out in the desert in times of war is dangerous. I was 
Follow the tracks. No one gets out. Even if you do not hear from me for several months, pay no attention and send no one. Why did you come? I am longing for you. My heart is not ready. We have to play their game. It looks dangerous to be sincere. I'm not afraid. What is it that attracts you? It's their freedom. It's their poetry of life. Shake. Take me to your shake now. Wherever you are in the world, wherever I might be, we belong to each other. She is the maker of kings. She is the crowned queen of the desert. You will always have my heart. Hmm. Interesting way to end the trailer. Down, yeah. Is this, yeah, is this based on someone? I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't. I don't know. I think I needed the trailer to explain to me who this person yeah. was yeah. a little yeah. bit more. She yeah, just yeah, seems yeah. like some random lady who's just like, I'm going to the talking. desert. And like, I didn't know what she did. And, yeah. I'm like, what is her, the accomplishment? Is she like a journalist? Or yeah. is she yeah. just there? Like, here's the, here's the yeah, synopsis. Here's the Thank you, Adam. Yeah. A chronicle of Gertrude Bell's life, a traveler, writer, archaeologist, explorer, cartographer, and political attache for the British Empire at the oh, dawn of the 20th century. Right. Okay, that... Okay. It wasn't conveyed for me, but yeah. also I yeah. kind of checked out a little bit. Like I was like, okay, this looks very beautiful. Uh, the locations full of movie stars. Yeah. Uh, nothing's grabbing me. Was it, uh, it feels like it's not for me. Mm -hmm. And especially because mm -hmm. it kind of started with a little bit of the love triangle thing. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, this movie is being marketed towards yeah. what they think are going to be the female audience, women that are like, oh, I want to go see Nicole Kidman, fantastic movie star. Like, oh, some two, like, exotic location. Exotic yeah. location. Beautiful Ooh, men. Two men mm -hmm. are like vying right. for, and I'm like, but what does this lady do? Like, yeah. what did she yeah. do? Mm -hmm. So I pass for now. And that's unless kind of, it's, see, that's a little disappointing that they, well, I don't know. Maybe but the movie uh, itself is less about and it's romance. Ma and maybe and this more trailer is, is yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, yeah. maybe this trailer is that cliche trailer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Fucking, it's a good cast. I love them. Ma maybe yeah. I'll give it another trailer, but that yeah. movie didn't grab me at all. There's Not just nothing about it. Me, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I would rather watch a Werner Herzog documentary. Yeah, exactly. About penguins. Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog. The Book okay. of Henry. Oh. oh, I'm excited to see this. Our legacy is. Sorry, Lucas. Didn't mean to jump the gun on you there, pal. Love you. Thank you, Lucas. Our legacy isn't how many commas we have in our bank account. It's who we're lucky enough to have in our lives and what we can leave them with. Henry, remind me again why we can't put you on a gifted school. Because it's better for my psychosocial development for me to interact with a peer group in a normal school environment. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Susan? I guess I could just set you up a direct deposit if that's easier. I, I don't know. I'll have to ask Henry. You have to ask your 11-year-old? Did our financial statement come in the mail today? Yeah, I forgot to give it to you. I don't know how you do it all by yourself. Come on, I have Henry. Find me another male of the species who's more grown up than him. I'd like to. <laughs> this story, it's about me, my brother, my mom, and the girl who lived next door. Henry and Peter, they're lucky to have you. And your father's lucky to have you, too. Stepfather. You okay? I'm good. Mom, I have to tell you something, and it's very important. Christine is in trouble. When someone hurts someone else, we have to make it better. There's only one way to stop it. Oh, wow. I'd have to do it all myself, but that's no. not an option. There what has to be another way to help Christina. Mr. Sickleman is the police commissioner. I'm not going to subject him to public scrutiny without conclusive evidence. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Mom, this was everything in the Jessica you need is right here. I'll be, I'll be with you the whole time. I love you. I know what you've done. Henry documented all of it. Who do you think they're gonna believe? It can't be yeah, left well, undone. Yeah, well, Henry's got Rube Goldberg machines. Yeah. You're well, a fucking idiot. I'm not alone. panicking. Parents are in on it. With a sniper rifle. We have to make it better. What, what the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? It's fucking... 
fucking. Man, you lost me. You fucking oh my lost God. me. Colin Trevorrow. Colin Trevorrow. Trevorrow. Nope. Wow. Oh you guys. Nope. It turned into the accountant all of a sudden. Yeah. 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 My I 11 year old genius is training hoping, me to be an assassin. I was hoping it was going to be a My Girl for This Generation. Yeah. Nope, not it's that at all. My Girl meets Home Alone meets The Accountant. It's <laughs> The my Accountant. Girl doesn't exist. Like, this kind of story, they feel like, don't oh. really exist. We, we need that stories. was so weird. weird. So weird. I, I was like, in the beginning, I was really, really into it. Then it took a turn. I'm like, okay, I'm interested. Yeah. yeah. But then it got like, it got Dude, like yeah. way I'm too Home Alone. I'm still interested. When she was full tactical suit with the sniper rifle, what the fuck? it's out of a book. Okay. This dude's doing Star Wars. He did Jurassic mm. World. Yeah. I'm gonna rent this. I'm gonna watch. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see this what this is. A little bit l- more like uh, uh, safety not guaranteed. Could be. Mm. Yeah. Could be. Kissing, but he didn't yeah. write it, so it's like, what yeah. exactly? Is the I'm, cu- I'm curious, there. man. It just seems I so. Don't. That trailer had a tough job of like. Yeah. Okay, here's this movie. Like that seems like so here's this really cool kid and so maybe you know like a relationship. Yeah. But oh my I god, know, the what? Was a little all over the place. Oh but my god. I'm intri- yeah. I am intrigued. That's I really do want to hear the reviews yeah. for that. Yeah. And yeah. I uh, don't even know. I like those actors. Yeah. I like the, the director the cast for the most stacked. part. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that though. Yeah, Whitney, that's Whitney, that's Whitney right. says, so y'all can gasp and watch, but you can't get a damn camera out for proof. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and there's no other way Take the little the, kid said. Then, the line right after that is Naomi Watts going, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what dun, is this? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This is yeah. a world where smartphones don't exist, Dustin. Oh. No cameras. What if the everywhere. opening of the movie is like, this is a world where there's no such thing as cameras? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you okay. go. I want to say that, that makes sense. Then. That makes sense. Uh, now that sniper rifle doesn't look so so bad. Is there a UK trailer? <laughs> Yeah, we need I'm a UK still, trailer for this one. I don't I'm know if a UK trailer will sway me. I, I am so really all over the curious. place. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Dustin <laughs> just gagged back there. <laughs> I'll watch. I'll let you know, dude. I'll watch it for you. I'll yeah, watch it you for watch you. that for uh, us, and then I'll you let, let us know. know. What if I showed up and I was like, guys, the Book of Henry is dope. Was fucking dope. <laughs> what if that I, twist, though? Like, oh, she used okay. a 50 cal sniper sure. rifle. That was dope. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we'll it is see. a very Hollywood movie about a dark, serious yeah, issue. No thanks. This is just no, the look, Hollywood way of look, dealing with like possible I love, sexual abuse. Oh, sniper rifle. Yeah, <laughs> true. I love Rear Window. I even love the the remake Rear. Disturbia. Like I thought that was like a well done remake of Rear Window. Like that story is always interesting. Of like, oh, what's ha- I can't we can't help them. What's mm. happening? That, I, that's why it kind of had little shades of that. So I'm like, are they doing rear window Let's just, oh, we'll find out. It needs to be shot as a silly summer comedy announcer. What happens when you, you take, take the, the dad, dad next, next door, door and introduce <laughs> him to the retired assassin single mom <laughs> next door? Wow. Uh, and there's no cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Ingrid goes west. <laughs> this? The couple that yogas together stays together. Prayer hands emoji. A perfect day for a perfect wedding. Hashtag perfect. Happy to be sharing this day with all my favorite humans. Hashtag blessed. Is this real? Hashtag no filter. A perfect day for a perfect wedding. Yep, that's how we roll. Ingrid. Congratulations. Mace to the face! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Are you insane? Oh. Anything else I need to know about Ingrid? Oh, sorry, this is Ingrid. Ingrid, Ingrid this is my brother Nikki. Stop! <laughs> How long are you here for? What? what the fuck? Oh my god. I'm actually really into that movie. I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, I'm already. This has like piqued that my interest. That was episode. fucking crazy. Yeah, I read yeah. that. That was oh. like Spring Breakers, yeah, but funnier. Yeah, nosedive, the Black Mirror episode. Wow. I'm into that. I'm into uh, I'll, I'll give that a that shot. That was eccentric and ridiculous, and it just looks like fun and dumb, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm into yeah. it. Yeah. You've oh. never sprayed so the girl nice. on a wedding day? Nice little commentary on, you know, the social, social media. Social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into yeah. it. Oh, come on. We see yeah. that kind of stuff I, all the time. I am so We're in intrigued. LA, dude. I, I mean, I feel like, yeah, that's a really LA sort of movie. 
Yeah, no, oh, but it yeah. might be great. Yeah, yeah. It seems like it's going to be a send up of all of LA lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. So the distributor's doing Colossal, and now Wait, which Ingrid one? goes west. Neon. Neon. Oh, this is the second movie? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They got this Sundance, they got yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah. The Colossal's I, coming I, out this week. I don't know. I'm really intrigued by it. I wanna, I'd want to see more reviews, but like, I, I mean, like... Yeah, I'm really fascinated by that kind of thing. Yeah, I'll probably watch it and hate it because it'll be too real. <laughs> 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 probably. LA. Hashtag LA. Oh hashtag gosh. blessed. <laughs> hashtag hashtag blessed. Perfect. perfect. Oh, don't get me started on hash. Yeah, it, something was clamped on there for some reason oh, for something here at Hyper. <laughs> Ooh, Ryan broke it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Try the So next Who? one. Ryan. Ryan. Right guy. Oh, right, right, no. So uh, today is April 4th. Mm-hmm. It would have been Heath Ledger's 38th birthday. That's so or 30 oh. 38th birthday, I believe. Are we going to get so all young. sad? We are. We're about, I'm, I'm well, about to bring fudge. it down. I'm about to bring it down. Let's do it. Um, this, is a, this is a documentary that's being made, uh, compiled from a bunch of stuff from Heath Ledger's life. I'm very interested to see this. I cannot wait to see this. Um, incredible actor. Outside of the Dark Knight, really, really, really talented guy. Yeah. So. I'm going to keep this book here to hide my tears. Okay. Heath was the most alive human. And if it wasn't on the edge, it didn't interest him. There were always cameras around, a video camera or a Polaroid camera or the film camera. That's the only way I think of him, with the camera in the hand. <laughs> he was always a director. Acting was just a way to get there. Before Brokeback Mountain came out, it would have been unthinkable to have a romantic tragedy involving two gay cowboys. This is one of the biggest heartthrobs on earth taking on that character. That's an artist. He kind of almost pulled out of every movie he ever ended up doing. He wanted fame, and then when he got it, he didn't want it. I'm not going to be that guy. And I'll show you. Oh, nice socks, man. Nice socks. Even as a supporting actor, he will steal the whole show. That's the power of Heath Ledger. Here's our entry fees. Now, where's our trophies? <laughs> this is like taking it to the next level. Like, you're going to be nominated for this, I'm telling you right now. And he, he just smiled. to watch that yeah definitely there's a there's a cool well it's May not 17th, that great spike tv world premiere it's just gonna be yeah. they're gonna air it on yeah, I spike think, tv I think they were uh, i think they produced they Very were cool there's show. a there's a series on netflix called too young to die uh, yeah. the first episode is heath ledger and it's mainly we lost chat. oh we lost the chat uh, and and mainly the first episode is his dad telling the story of yeah. Heath. And yeah. Like, they don't focus on his death at all. They mainly right. celebrate his life in, yeah. in in those episodes, which is great. Yeah. Um, and I guess his mom couldn't do it because it was just too. Yeah, his mom and his sister tough. refused to do it. Yeah. It was it was too close too close to the heart. But it was good to see his sister on here, mm-hmm. uh, talking about it a little bit. They're going into relationship with his friends and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd be interested to watch it. Um, I'm I'm not. I wasn't a huge Heath fan up until. Dark Knight. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and now looking back at what he did, I'm like, oh, this guy he, was really he was really he was force. fucking good. He's yeah. the actor that yeah. if you go back and even watch something as like cheesy and whatever oh as God. like a Knight's Tale, Knight's Tale like, yeah, or Love Ten Things Knight's I Hate like, About Ten You, hate he's about great you in it. Is like so cheesy, but he has and he wasn't even the best actor, but he had this incredible magnetism. Yeah, wicked that, charm. You yeah, know, that like like Brandon Lee. We were talking about yeah. how he had the same thing where it's like yeah. when he was on screen, you couldn't help but look at him. Yeah, there's just something about him, which is. You know. Ghost Children says, don't do drugs, kids. Seems like his death was an accidental overdose from depression medicine. Yeah. Or yeah. And, and, like and I think while uh, after he wrapped The Dark Knight, he was doing part Dr. Parnassus. Yeah. yeah. And I guess oh he, he developed. Um, that was so tragic. God, what was it? It wasn't pneumonia, but he got some sort of an illness. Right. And it was the combination of medication that wow. he was taking yeah. for his illness. And for other things that, yeah, it ultimately in, killed in, him. In the uh, in the episode I saw, they they did talk about how he was going through a bit of depression. Yeah. Sure. So he he wasn't necessarily like the, they said in the trailer. Once he was famous, he didn't want it. Yeah. yeah. So he he was stuff, going man. through a thing, but he wasn't suicidal. Sure. Right. He, he wasn't to the point where he wanted to end his life. This right. was just an accident that just. Yeah. Some Plus, I mean, he up. he has a little daughter with yeah. Michelle Williams. Yeah. Um, who is actually going to be in that documentary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at this point now she'll probably be 10 11 yeah. 12 maybe I, I don't know exactly yeah, yeah. Um, uh, if, if i could recommend one film of his if you haven't seen it to really see his performance i would go brokeback mountain yeah it of floored course me. Mm -hmm. yeah. it yeah. floored me he was fantastic in that film yeah mm -hmm. and i think he's he is one of those actors that, and people will do say that he is an actor who sometimes was a little hit and miss but when he hit he was on another wavelength like yeah. It was yeah. it was yeah, something yeah. special, something else, for Man, sure. If you haven't seen Doctor Parnassus, yeah, it's really brilliant. It's it's a very good film, and it is haunting and kind of spooky. Cool. It is. It's it kind is. of spooky because it, it was is. the last film. He, they couldn't finish it with him, so they yes. ended up having it working it into the story that his character was also played by I think it was Johnny Depp, Colin, uh, Farrell, Colin Farrell, and Jude Farrell, Law, and who? Jude Law. Too too long. Long. Yeah, yeah, and so it made sense. It made sense yeah. for the story, and it's very good and yeah. very interesting. Yeah. I really loved Doctor Parnassus. Yeah, and you're right. It, it was strange because the movie he passed away in January 2000, uh, 2008. Yeah, and the movie came out in August, I believe. It's very hard for everybody. So yeah. they had to take like a huge break, and it was Terry <laughs> Gilliam was trying to figure yeah. out like how yeah. do we continue this? Yeah. So Stop. those three actors came on. And finish the movie, and yeah, it, it, you're right. It is a little strange watching that movie. I feel like with any movie that comes out after an actor dies, especially one who kind of is like at the top mm -hmm. of their game, um, you know, he had just done The Dark Knight, so he was in everyone's mm -hmm. everyone's mind. Everyone was thinking about Heath Ledger. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I I love A Knight's Tale. Anytime that movie comes on, I I leave it on. I think I it's really it, yeah, that like that it's too. a really fun movie. Him and Alan Paul Bettany. Alan Tudyk and, kills yeah, it. Yeah. So so good. Uh, Ten things I hate about you. Brokeback Mountain. I mean, yeah, Dogtown. Dogtown. Like that was a really cool movie too. Yeah. So, who? So cool. Ooh. It's gonna be a it's gonna Ooh. be a good one. All right. All right. I'm gonna Save us from sadness, Tom Cruise. I'm gonna leave you guys to oh, it yeah. with these. Dustin, you want to watch these with us? Via con Dios, we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing some trailer reactions for some of these trailers. Yeah. Um. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned to the YouTube channel. We're gonna put out some trailer reactions for that. Uh, we're gonna do all these last four trailers that these guys are doing. Uh, I'm gonna step away from. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, Adam. Bye. All right, Dustin. I'm in the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Nice shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving it back mm -hmm. to Adam. Thanks, man. Hey, yeah. what's that shirt mean? What does uh, that mean? What is the what is the what thing is with the holes in it? This in the numbers? Oh, I think it's a Polaroid. Oh, <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. Polaroids are cool. Yeah. No man, it's celluloid. Is that one of those like those old thirty five mil? Mm. Like oh. Thirty five mil. Hey, did mil. we get a Lucas, are you there? I love you. Did we get a an an address for uh for this giveaway? Okay. It's going it's what going is to it? Canada. <laughs> All right, I'll fucking <laughs> ship it. All right. <laughs> Continental US, but whatever, I'll pay more. The I mummy. love you guys. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's not that more that's much more. Okay, expensive. good. Um okay, cool. That's I'm also okay. gonna open up Rogue One Blu ray after the trailers are done. Oh and yeah. I haven't All opened right. it yet, so we're gonna see what's inside. So stay tuned. And the here we go, the mummy. The you mummy just got real sad, Hector. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Get down! That sounded a lot like Brenda Fraser. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Wow. 
safely hidden for 2,000 years. This isn't a tomb. It's a prison. Nick! Tell you archaeology. <laughs> the hieroglyphs <laughs> said she was named Amunet. Chosen to be Egypt's next queen. But her thirst for power led her down a darker path. One... scary i think we're still on i think we're still on okay uh, oh god we've hit to, we've gone to our backup generators the, the oh, really yeah we have to go out into the backyard about 30 kilometers to another shed where we'll have to flip the power back on there's only like a well, few you have to shoot a rope and then a mummy thing will come out from the ground and then okay, you're gonna well, have to jump over onto your butts <laughs> what <laughs> just happened or, or i think the power just generators. went out Rolling oh power boy. outage. It's power a brownout. Outage. Okay. Damn. So we're wow. still going Are then. I think so. We're still oh. alive. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we the chat's going glitch. nuts. Right. Guys, we just had well, a little glitch. It right. was the glitch. mummy. This, it was the mummy. She got mad. Oh my God, it it's was the, the mummy. It's the mummy. Oh my God. This episode of Cineverse is brought to you by Universal Pictures, mm -hmm. The Mummy. <laughs> no, by an actual cursed mummy. And it's not brought to you by <laughs> L.A. Power and Water. So yeah, apparently not. Because they, don't, they don't care. Rolling brownie. I'm Speaking of water, I'm going to go get water. This, the mummy is going to kill this them. This house was built on a cemetery. Few people oh know that. Oh, no. <laughs> this fucking house. Zach, why'd you get this house? <laughs> it's cheap, bro. That's scary. Oh, restore, restore, cheap, restore. Nice. Yes. We okay. did it. Okay. We have to start over from the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, we'll start over from the very beginning. I don't care. All right. No, seriously, start over from the beginning. Yeah, no, I'm going to. It. Okay. I just got to set up these other trailers. Yeah, good, good, good call. Oh, Valerian. Oh, my God. Ooh. I hope so. I didn't see Lucy. <sighs> yeah, but you I saw believe. Fifth Element. <clears throat> you know, I do. Whether love Fifth Element and yeah. Irrational, so. Whether it's, it's good or not, it's going to be a visual feast. A visual feast. Mm -hmm. A visual feast. I know, Hector. Get out. Run. Run, eh? Uh-huh. Here right. we go. Ready to go. go. Let's start. This right, let's is uh, as good a time as any to announce our first feature of film, Hyper R.I.P. <laughs> Hyper <laughs> R.I.P. That's, That's really good. Uh, I like right. it. I, I'll, I'm in it. I'm, I dig it. I'll watch that trailer. <laughs> From let's the go. top, The Mummy. <laughs> no! I will watch those no, no, no. films that have... Me too. I'm waiting for them to make a twisted metal movie. So there's a massive cavernous mummy tomb under the city? just like 15 what feet the under yeah, the look, city. Look. Yeah. You have to dig deeper than Thank that God to make it was a road. explosion and not a sinkhole. Whatever the guys, guys. It's been safely hidden. I like how this movie years. starts because all these white people were running from terrorists in yeah. Egypt. This isn't a tomb. It's a prison. Nick. Oh, now he's surprised. The hieroglyph said she That's was wearing a half-tucked headwig. Chosen to be Egypt's next queen. But her thirst for power led her down a darker path. Is One this a suicide squad creeper? <laughs> yes. That's creepy. Because of your actions, this ancient power has returned. Russell Crowe. Ever heard of locusts? <laughs> this is biblical. How do you Wait. survive that crash? Because you were chosen. Chosen? <gasps> By what? I was a pro. Evil. Oh, rats. The ultimate. My hair. Legend has it, it she's a being of unimaginable powers. Oh, and she's that. using you. To regain them. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she's super evil. Okay. She will not stop. Sexy until mummy. she has remade our world. Goodbye, London. Into her own. Stay with me. I'm scared. I'm gonna figure this out. Don't leave me. 
Oh snap, that was dope. That was dope. Goodbye. Oh, that's pretty you funny. can't run. You can't escape. Yes, Jake Johnson. She's got plans for you. They're gonna bone. That's what's you know, gonna that's happen. Funny. Like somebody I know was like a sexy mummy for Halloween as a yeah. joke to be yeah. ironic, but like it happened, yeah, yo. Boy. <laughs> this is gonna be really shitty, and yeah. I hope it's a gonna be a good time. At I know. The movie. I, I, I kind hope of it's a good time. Go yeah. See it. I hope it's like, like Kong Skull Island. Yeah. I love. Yeah, real I hope fucking so. dumb, but I love really Tom fun. Cruise. Isn't this part yeah. of the same? Oh no, wait. These are the these this are the is, monster this movies. This is the beginning. Yeah. The and mon- then Monsterverse. Monsterverse. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Right. Hyde. The guy That's, who, um, is ri- who is writing um, Justice League, or the guy who's writing Aquaman, oh. is now penning the script for uh, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I yeah. hope all the monsters are female. I hope we get a that female creature really, from the Black really Lagoon, cool. a female wolf woman, I, I, a female invisible woman, I'd be into that. but then a male bridegroom of Frankenstein right, but exactly. then still like a female Frankenstein's monster <laughs> but then like a dude with like a white a, streak yeah, in his yeah, hair yeah, like yeah. Huh? I was made for a woman that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. so That'd Russell Crowe's character I forgot his first name but his last name is Hyde yes Mark Jekyll yeah. Hyde whatever oh, okay. yeah, he's, Price, he's not evil he's Dr. Jekyll Ice Cream I says yeah. I'm gonna watch this movie but only cause I think Sophia Botella is really pretty okay yeah no shame in that no yeah. she's great no she's great looks good I like the idea though that he can't die but it seems mm. confused about what his purpose is for the mm-hmm. evil. Mm-hmm. Good guy, bad guy. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know. maybe just like, a bone. It'd be cool if you like she, that mummy just starts wants doing babies. evil stuff. But it mm-hmm. looks like Tom Cruise is going to be really confused as bad stuff yeah. happens, and they're just yeah. going to continually tell him it's all because of you. And he's, while yeah. while they're boning, it's yeah. going to be like in Step Brothers, and he's going to be like <laughs> something's <laughs> going to happen. Show me yeah. a person who yeah. doesn't want to do it in this sarcophagus, and I'll show you a damn liar. Yeah. Good. All right, for the next trailer, I okay, think next Cookie trailer. should be out here for this one. Oh, what Cook, do you got? get out of here, Cook. Oh, come on, guys. You, you knew we were going to we, do it, Erica. I thought maybe we wouldn't. Maybe. Erica, don't move. But there's a clown I don't, right no, behind don't you. Don't turn around. Don't even don't joke. Don't turn around. Don't if you want to see my heart That's break in, don't, like don't turn don't like around. I don't like What's clowns. Up, Lucas? You, have you seen this yet? It's right off camera, no. there's Ooh. a clown. Wait, I've seen a part of it. Ooh, I seen okay. Completely. Oh, I don't. Everybody, get ready for screams. Uh. Okay, here we go. Hit us off. Go, Lucas. Let's move this Hit over play. here. Is it on me? Do I have to press play? Yeah. I don't want to do this. All right, he's oh my God, He's folding paper. I'm out. <laughs> this is oh. His name's Georgie. Oh. Fuck Georgie. this. I'm done. Captain. Oh, oh shit! Aww. Scariest part of the movie right there. <laughs> Y'all ever hit your head? This shit's, this shit ain't no joke. Watch that. <laughs> 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 it's not like any time I've ever been in before. People die or disappear six times the national average. And that's just grown ups. Kids are worse. Way, way worse. We all float down here. I saw something. There was this. It's all connected by the sewers. That's where it lives. What happened? Float too. 
Oh my goodness, the clown looks terrifying. Yeah, I mean, that clown is Hot no joke. Damn, y'all. Penny, so wait, so why would we are you a huge fan of the series? I'm not at all. I saw this movie when or the series when I was uh -huh. way too young. Yep. I, uh -huh. think, I think I was probably four or six. Oh. I don't uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. It was like uh -huh. one of those ages. Uh -huh. then, because of it, and it's funny because I didn't understand what I was seeing at the time, but I became a afraid of all those things that they were afraid of. Like yep. I had a fear of balloons. Yep. I had a fear of clowns. Werewolves. I had a fear of balloon or not balloons, but uh, storm drains or not storm drains. Uh -huh, so like the yeah, storm, yeah, whatever those are called. Yeah, and then I also had a, a fear of bathtub drains. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and are you still afraid of those things? No, I had to read. <laughs> I this was such a damaging series to me. I had to read the book in high school to like wow. Get in high school, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was afraid of. Those and you were terrified of reading it. Yeah, yeah I was. Holy yeah, but no, shit. I got over it. And then if you go back and watch the series now, it's pretty bad. So. It's it's yeah, really yeah, shitty. It you can get over it. It, it gets really silly the second half. Yeah, the first half is still kind of scary. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but the second half is just kind of like, hey, um, okay, yeah. I can I can do this. I'll probably go see it. it later. Can it can you fun. guys get Erica Balloon, please? Ooh. What do you I think, think it'll make a, that... I think it'll make Yeah, a Erica, what's your vote? One, two, or three? I think it's a one. I'm pretty sure it's a one. Oh, yeah. Is there, a, uh, is there an option where this movie doesn't even come out? No. Jesus. No. We're going to trick you to go see it somehow. <laughs> this looked great, though. I thought it looked great. Yeah. yeah. I thought it looked... I'm very gullible. Yeah, I know. It was really, like, pretty. Gullible. It was, like, yeah, stylish. Like, we're going to go was see stylish. Ferdinand, Erica. Let's go see Ferdinand. Psych, it's it. Psych, it's clowns. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Lucas. The way they yeah. lit the clown, uh, all the color was, was really incredible. Nice. Yeah, and the yeah, like the okay, clown's so lighting and makeup was great. Looks like it has sort of the atmospheric horror of the original, you know, that Stephen King feeling where mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. not out and out mm -hmm. necessarily horror mm -hmm. and gore, mm -hmm. but like things that are kind of <laughs> odd, you know, Stranger mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, geez. one of the kids from Stranger Things is in it. Finn Wolfhard. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. The Which main, one was the main he? kid. He was not the disappeared kid, but the main kid who had a thing for eleven. Mm -hmm. The older, yeah, but the the, the kid, kid, he? not the teen. Mm -hmm. Right, but is he, he was in there? Was I think who? he was the one with the glasses. Okay. Do you want to go back and check? No, yeah, let's go back. No. All right, let's go to I the next trailer. No, no, I think no, you should also, I think you no, also need to check good. your we're ball good. pit. We're good. We're gonna. We're gonna. No, it's okay. We're gonna, Jesus we're gonna, Jesus we're gonna. Mouse, yeah, I got the mouse. <laughs> she took the mouse. We're gonna watch the Valerian <laughs> yeah. trailer. Yay! Psych, Valerian. It's it. It's it trailer again. Hooray! Psych. Psych. Yeah, so you gotta come watch this one too. Press play and come, or I'll press play. And you can I watch. I heard somewhere that clowns are born in ball pits. All right, here we go. Wow, True. that True. was unnecessary. <laughs> good, luck. good luck going home. Unnecessary. Is there a ball pit in your house? Yeah. Oh, good luck. Yeah, you it's like ready? you can't. It's hard to like touch the bottom of it. So That's where they're born. Yeah, That's where clowns live. The deepest live. part they, uh, of the ball pit. Oh, Jesus. They, they live close to Don't beaches. Don't stand in my blind yeah, spot. <laughs> they live close to beaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they love the beach. Clowns no, love, love the, beach. the beach. None of this is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to watch Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. Oh. This mission is a simple in and out. Agent Valerian, you'll be running solo. I only work with my partner. Hi. We're a team. Let's go. You're running nearly 20 minutes late. Yeah, well, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Welcome to Alpha. The city of a thousand planets, where for hundreds of years, every species has shared their knowledge and their intelligence with each other. It's paradise. Amazing. After centuries of peace and prosperity, an unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. 
Let's get to work. The whole universe is after us. We need the two of you to be the guardians of our future. I'm in. Wow. You see that shit in 3D. I was in from the very yeah, first trailer. Yeah, that Fantastic. first trailer blew me away. Yeah. It's just beautiful. It's just, I, yeah. it, it looks like the perfect mix of like the fun elements of B-movies. Yeah. They're not afraid to be like showy and gaudy and like deep sci-fi. Uh, and just mm -hmm. like really great budget and and yeah, it's just looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. Can't wait. I'm really excited about that. Cannot wait. I cannot uh, wait. I'm Man. interested yeah. in that uh, in that actor. Like I don't the know. The kid. Yeah. Dane yeah. DeHaan. So I love Fifth Element, and I think Bruce Willis is like kind of the perfect casting because of his yeah. charisma. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if that kid mm -hmm. has it. I say kid, but the guy's like yeah. thirty something. Probably. No way he's yeah, thirty. No, he's yeah, I, I actually like thirty. Got a baby no. face. Yeah, we'll see. That'll be the face. test. It'll be the test of what if that movie, which is visually stunning but has two leads that don't hold, that that just, don't hold it, yeah. then you we might have a Scott Pilgrim versus the World scenario. Right. Yeah. I don't like yeah. those two leads. I still yeah. fucking love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. But this thing looks like um, those characters are going to be allowed to be really fun. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully they'll be able to have that some of some of that Bruce Willis, Mila Jovovich levels of fun yeah. from Fifth Element. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tether Raven brings up a good point. It is, it's a huge budget sci-fi film based on like... A, a property that is not super well known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still based on something. Where, yeah, but it's you know not technically an original have, movie. Sure. Yeah, it's Very still cool. a new property. And Ronan says he's amazing in A Cure for Wellness. Cool. Mm. Wait, did, that's did you guys ever see that? Yeah. Did you guys ever oh. see that? Did anybody no. ever see that? Yeah, did you I see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna admit something. I thought for the longest time that that, that was the kid from Stranger Things. No. That's Dana Hahn. Which Han. kid? The the. Uh, the teen. The oh, yeah, teenager. they look the same. They look exactly the same. Yeah. The older right? brother of the kid that went missing, one yeah. other writer's son, sure. other son. Yeah. Sure. Lucas, I'm curious about Cure for Wellness. What about it? Did you like oh, it? I really, I really I liked to it. I'd give it, I'd give it like a 7.5. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. I liked it. Worth okay. a rental? Yeah, worth the rent. I, yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to rent that film. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. good. Cool. Kill bra. Okay. All right, let's go for the last trailer of the night. Shall we? Yes. Fuck yeah, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Oh, do you see that? Yeah, yeah. what? Like that like quick little image all the time. Erica, how come when Lucas just scrolled over this thing, there was a real quick clip of yeah, did you see Pennywise that? the Clown? What? No, uh -uh. Yeah, there was. No, uh -uh. There was. I no, swear uh -uh. to Bob. I swear to Bob. No, uh -uh. So, weird. to Bob. so weird. Oh, here right, we go. I'm hop out. Bye. He's a smart one, isn't he? That's what are you going to name him? Mm -hmm. That's John Lithgow from the first film, Caesar. Do they look like just apes to you? He saved, he saved our lives. lives. He, was he was remarkable. Apes, apes, together, strong, strong. You're him. You're Caesar. We've been searching for you for so long. I do not start this war. I fight only to protect the apes. Human gets sick. Ape gets smart. Then human kill ape, but not me. I run. There are times when it is necessary to abandon our humanity to save humanity. Shit. you say eventually you'd replace us that's the law of nature 
So what would you have done? What did the humans promise you? No matter what you do, you'll never be one of them. Oh, you are a We are the beginning! Apes together! Strong! We are the beginning! Apes together! Strong! Have you come to Kill save off. your apes? Yeah, I was I gonna say, is Caesar gonna my, die? I think I'm gonna cry Holy. In, in this movie. I want to cry. So this is my man. number yeah. one blockbuster release that I'm looking forward to this year. Really? I, Guardians really? two. Really? Wonder oh, Woman. I Fuck, Guardians two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is, is your number, number two, two pick. Yeah. This is my yeah. s- just below Dude. number. It's it's Dude. right below that. I need to watch all those movies again. Come over, I got them. How is it that each one's better than the previous? Yeah, it's Dawn not cool. for the Planet of the Apes. It's Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was better than Rise of the Planet of the Apes, by like to me, pretty substantially. I agree, but Rise wasn't bad. Exactly. Like the oh, emotional yeah. journey that they went through, I yeah. was not expecting. Wish they had different names. It's really mm-hmm. hard to keep track. <laughs> oh, you mean those titles? Dawn yeah. of the Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. War. War the of the Planet of the Apes. For right. the Planet of the Apes. I don't this know, and I don't know what. I think I think this one's gonna do real well. It's uh, it's gonna be the director of the it, new Batman it movie. Looks Matt like Reeves. it looks incredible. Poor Matt Reeves. Everybody's just gonna be fucking asking him about Batman when he does press for this movie. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably just right. step away from the project. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> oh yeah yeah. God, the cinematography that looks so good. Yeah, it does, yeah. The, the VFX it does. on those everything mo- and those looks apes so look incredible, gorgeous, incredible. Cannot oh my wait. Goodness. But it Cannot also wait. like it has that epic cinematography, but still those those close moments. The, yeah, those close ups. Yeah. So Oof. good. So Let's much time. Yeah. All right, Adam. All right. Is that a kaiju I hear over there? No, dude, it's an it. Do you know what the clown's real name is? Pennywise the yeah. Clown, Georgie. Pennywise the Clown. And I mean, we the thing is, is that like he's also Georgie. like not just a clown. I don't know if that's. I mean. No, he's not just a clown. He's not just a clown. No. no. Not great. I could feel you pooping your pants from outside. Ah, uh, yeah, it was real bad. I don't know what was worse, seeing the clown it's or, smelly or, or right Hector now. scaring me. Mm-hmm. That I was real good. good. That you got, got me you real, real good. good. Got you, real you got good. me real good, Hector. Got you real good. Hectorious. Hector, you vicious. You vicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go through All real right. quick what's coming out. Mm-hmm. Blu-ray. You got it. The most important movie coming I'll get out. Get out of the way here, real quick. Most important movie. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Uh, the most important movie. Oh, there you go. Get out of here. Is Hot Rod just <laughs> re-released on Blu-ray? It's been out of print for a long, yes. long time. It's finally since 2011. Back. I don't know why I got a weird version, but I love it. I think is that it's the UK? It's, I think it's a UK version. Is that the UK what, version? What's different about it's it? It's rated M for no. It's the same movie, and it'll play on my Blu-ray player. It's fine, but like that's what I got. Oh, rated M. Yeah. Rated M for mature. When really it's like it's it's like PG thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it's yeah. Uh, the other movie that came out, Patterson with Adam Adam Driver. I didn't see I didn't see this movie, but I heard it was actually really good. Okay. Uh, it had like a small a much smaller yeah. release, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. Office Christmas Party, which yeah. I mean that's just a crazy shit show. We well, saw so many trailers for that. That's still a no watcher for me. Yeah. That is a oh if it if I'm at a place I don't want to be and it's on HBO I'll watch. Yeah, that. that's true. That that's is true. a let me avoid talking to family yeah. for two hours. <laughs> Let's talk about this bad boy that you got. Let's do it. What is this? The five uh, disc? Most importantly, it says disc made in Mexico. That's that is awesome. most importantly. <laughs> and characters made in Mexico. Yeah, one know. character made in Mexico. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. I'm going to open this bad boy up right now. I just got it today. This is the, ooh, we got the close-up cam. Oh, nice. Look nice. at this shit. From the cam round to the close-up cam. This is the uh, Target edition. Never before opened Now, what's special the about the Target edition versus the other editions? Well, yeah. Adam, as far as I can tell... It says right here on the cover, only at Target you get collectible packaging with five interchangeable covers. What? As well as exclusive content. Now, when they say exclusive content, that's not too much of a draw for me because it usually means you get an extra special feature that you can access if you go to Target.com, sign up for their Target program, probably for free, and then you can click on a thing and watch a little extra special feature that's like streamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I like my special features. On my Blu-rays. So here Spesh we go. Special feature. This is nice. Ooh. 
<clears throat> and this is the nice. five disc edition. And I think the difference between this and the other ones is most of the other ones have a four disc edition. This one also has the three D Blu Ray. So we, yeah. okay, so it's five discs because yeah. it's Blu-ray, so many different Blu-ray, kinds. DVD, right. Three D gotcha. Blu Ray, DVD, and digital then, HD. Uh, I don't know what the extra two discs or two discs are going to be. Let's let's open this bad. It's boy probably up. a bonus disc and a uh, special features Ooh. that's like Target. Oh, that's maybe? nice. I like that they Very kept. So nice. if you look at this cover, oh, it's got like that. that digital blue. <laughs> look at that. Dustin's behind Very the camera and he's it. just like losing it. Let me take this packaging out. Oh, that's what I'm going to leave it. What's up, baby? There yep. it is. That's right. Cassie and Andor and K2SO. Love it. That's Are they like cool. friends or something? They're bestie friends. Mm. And then you got, ooh, look at that. I know that's going to be lots of people's bays. Malbus. <coughs> yep. Shirit Imwe. Shirit Imwe. That's a lot of people's bays. Right they there. are one with the force, mm-hmm. and the force is with them. And oh, my boy Ben Mandelson <laughs> and mm-hmm. some dark mm-hmm. troopers, mm-hmm. some dark stormtroopers. This mean ass Death mother effer. Oh, dude, that's a good one too, dude. That's me right there. Dude, that's me. <laughs> Force Whitaker, just chilling. Oh my just like, Oh, what's up, Force? That's me, Hector Navarro. <laughs> How's it going? What will you become? become. <laughs> this is fun. What a fun bit. <laughs> what a fun bit. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as Diego Luna. There you go. Artwork. Yeah, wait, you got to show that. It's cool, too, because it's like, it's all, it's, all it. artwork. Artwork. it's all artwork that features stormtroopers in water, which we never got to see in the movie. <laughs> right. All we saw was like death troopers in the water for a hot minute. They're straight chilling on the beach. Chilling like this a... Like Where's your, your corona? It's not. There's actually... It's no. a death star in the background. Pretty nice. Cool. Open this up. Oh, a disc Ooh, fell out. Ooh, you better take that back. Ooh. Ooh, we got... Uh-uh. What is that? Here's how I like to do it. I'll put the uh, the Rogue One regular Blu-ray right here on the bottom because that anytime I'm be watching this bad boy, it's gonna be 3D. So we're gonna Boom, put that done. on top like that. I love that they that they put the Darth Vader disc as the 3D Blu-ray. Yeah. Digi Cop. Ooh, look at this. Dang. I got a bonus Blu-ray of Star Wars Rogue One features. Nice. And then I've got uh, what is this down here? Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. I don't know what the hell this is. DVD. Yeah, DVD. And then you've got DVD exclusive bonus content. Sweet. I think this is all Target exclusive here. Yeah. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cannot wait. Uh, Hector, I, I feel like you're scratching your DVDs because you're touching them so much. No, I'm not. I don't worry about it. And this <laughs> matches my uh, Force Awakens Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray set that's uh-huh, all like foldy uh-huh. Audi like that. It's yeah. All Mm, yeah. Good term. Oh, man. I'm excited to check out the f- special features because I, I hope <laughs> that we get... I know they're probably not going to go a lot into what was redone, what was right. reshot, but I think the, the commentary and some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, plus a lot of the interviews that are coming out now, we have a pretty good idea of how the third act of that movie really changed mm-hmm. and how the characters' stories and how their arcs really changed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, like I'm pretty happy with how this movie turned out. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think a lot of us wanted to see cool stuff of them like running across the beach with... With the Death Star plans, while yeah. AT, AT, ATACTs were shooting at them, but they they ended up taking both of those locations and putting them into one, right. so it kind of made the movie a little more <laughs> compressed. Yeah, yeah. But I think it worked out fine. I, I like the way the characters were handled, and uh, I didn't. There was they wanted Darth Vader to originally kill a lot of these characters, and yeah. I like the fact that all these characters had their own yeah. deaths. Yeah, I think we all like mm-hmm. the the uh, you know the Skywalker saga the the. the it was kind of on the periphery of this film. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would have liked even less because they don't mm-hmm. have to sell me on like the Star Wars or branding, like the reminders like of Jeremy the Star Pingo? Wars. Yeah, I agree. Stuff. I agree. I, but, I, I, I agree mean, with I, that. I just, I really enjoyed it. It felt very different. Yeah. I, I, I really, they, they I want to hear why say, Whitney hated it. It doesn't First say, uh, Whitney. Well, I know mm-hmm. why. I know the reasons why. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a nostalgic circle jerk. <laughs> That's why. Fair okay, Hector, you uh, have to do an unboxing for Hot Rod. Okay, great. So here you open up Hot Rod. Oh boy. And there's the fucking movie. That's all you need. <laughs> That's all you need That's to know. That's all you fucking That's need. need to know. Greatest movie ever That's made. That's it. And if you don't think so, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that's my hot rod unboxing. <laughs> so it comes with a little packaging there. It's a little bit it's thicker blue. here on it's the blue. side because it's probably from the UK or Australia or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, still, Keller. Still, pa- still plays on my Blu-ray player. And uh-huh. then coming out in theaters this week, Colossal mm-hmm. oh. being one of them. Smurfs I don't really care for. Uh, and then Gifted. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing both those movies. I want to see Colossal and I want to see Gifted. Colossal yeah. is definitely like higher on my list just because yeah. I'm so intrigued yeah. by that's the cool concept. Poster. That's a cool graphic. Yeah, I just, just the poster really, by itself really gets me. Yeah. 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 
I feel like they should have done it with like a classic kaiju poster, like the way that they did for, uh, Count Kong. for Kong. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would have been that really. Cool. That would have been way cool. I'm kind of already. I mean, you know, the, the trailer for Colossal looked really cool, but the fact that the director's name is Nacho is. Nacho Vigalondo is I'm very very that. nice. I like that. Who's That's a great director? name. Nacho, Nacho Vigalondo. Vigalondo. Nacho Vigalondo. director. Ever heard of that guy? Best monster movie ever. <laughs> Can't wait. But I'm, I, I want to see Colossal. I, I, yeah. I, I hope it's good. It looked really funny. It looked and really I fun. I want to see Gifted too, but I would be fine yeah. renting Gifted. Yeah. yeah. I would be fine renting I love Gifted. Chris Evans. But if I, if I have a moment to, to see it, I definitely want to check it out. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. Chris Evans is a cool dude. He starts shooting Infinity War in May. There you go. Cool. Ooh, Thank you. interesting. Ooh, that makes but my butt, my butt oh cheeks tight. Oh, my <laughs> God. When he mentioned Josie and the Pussycats, speaking of 90s films, that film is amazing. It's also, Pussycats. I think, as far as I can remember, Pussycats. other than Catwoman, the only other comic book female led movie. Tank Girl? Tank Girl? Tank Girl. Oh, jeez. There's, right. b- there's been yeah. bad ones. That's right. No, no, no. <laughs> Super I some bad ones. Yeah. Super Tank Girl was great. Yeah. yeah. Super yeah. Girl was great. Does Ghost World count? Ghost World yeah, counts because it's from a graphic Cats novel. Counts. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's true. But Josie and the Pussycats Josie might be one of only great. like it's so like nice. One of two good Hanna Barbera movie adaptations, mm-hmm. that and the first mm-hmm. Flintstones mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. And I think first everything Flintstones else is great. Flintstones movie, I loved the Flintstones movie so much. I watched it so many times. The neighbor, something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a big fan hey, of that Fred. movie, dude. It's great. Uh, it's great. But it's you also have to show. like love the Flintstones. Yeah, I was, Electra, I was a huge Cat fan. Electra, Catwoman, mm-hmm. Ghost World, Josie and the Pussycats, Tank Girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Tomb Raider. Has to be more. Not that's, that's no, a video, video game. game. Close. Oh, you were talking comic about comic book, oh. like from Supergirl, a comic. Gotcha, gotcha. Supergirl, 1987, okay. 1984. Yeah. Oh wow. Helen Slater. <laughs> what else? Oh. Look at the TV. Look at the TV. Still broken. Oh my God! We all float down here, <laughs> Erica. <laughs> it's Pandar tagged us on a really nice picture. Oh my God! For a second, it's okay. I thought it's the TV was going to drop. So I know, matter. right? Thanks for watching the show, you guys. Yeah, yeah. We're all done for tonight. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed right here on Twitch for live content every single week. We're going to be doing the Halo Foundation fundraiser starting on Friday. We're going to do the UCLA Geek Week starting Friday night. Come and yep. check us out at some yep. panels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the Valiant Summit is coming, uh, I believe it's April 17th, Monday, correct. 11 a.m. Pacific time. So yep. much stuff right here on uh, twitch.tv slash hyperrpg. Also on YouTube, youtube.com slash hyperrpg. Erica, we're going to refund you on the interwebs. I am at Erica Ishii, which is my name, on the Twitters. I have a Twitch channel that is twitch.tv slash Eric Ishii, once again. Uh, and that's super fun. We do a lot of fun stuff. Mm. Mm-hmm. El underscore Santo Taco. You can find me on the internet at Pennywise Rocks with three X. <laughs> three X's. Where I send out lots of gifts to little lots girls of, and boys. Balloons. And when I say gifts, I mean like gifs, like, oh, on the internet. That could be interpreted in a very wrong we way. We all float down here, Georgie. Give me your arms, Georgie. <laughs> Fucking rip that arms off that kid. Oh, yeah. Actually, Killed that's him. a good thing to, to mention on this show. Uh, this Sunday at 4 p.m. on my channel. Uh, oh, I guess you guys are doing the... Thing. I shouldn't have to mention. What? Okay. Yeah, Sunday? go ahead and promote uh, some yeah. counter programming, okay, Erica. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, else, it's Erica. my friend Blondie uh, who does Scary Cats with me. It's her birthday, Yay. and uh, we are going to be doing a watch along to Magic Mike XXL because that's oh. her favorite movie. Mm. And people like coming to watch her channel because we scream a lot, and there's going to be a lot of screaming for that one. Sunday at 4? Yeah. I mean, that's. I know. No, our event's over at noon, so yeah. we'll just host right. you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh. We're, we're done by noon hey. on Sunday. We've yeah. been up for like 49 hours right. at this yeah. point. So. Oh, Sleepy wow. time. Mm-hmm. Sleepy we're time. Good. Okay. We're good. Okay. Jack said it was so cool. Sunday, so Sunday, cool, and guys. unfortunately, it's not on Netflix. You got to, there's, there's. You got to do some, you got to yeah. do some heavy lifting. Yeah. You'll yeah. find that movie. Yeah, you really the same voice, Jim. Magic Mike XXL. How hard can it be to find? If you go on iTunes, I'm sure it's rentable for like three bucks. Yeah, you can find it. So. Oh, thank you, it's, Jeremy. It's great. In addition to being uh, uh, full full of beefcake, as mm-hmm. Jeremy Pinkham says, uh, it's it's a great movie about doing what you love and chasing your passions. Yep. Boom. Yep. <coughs> bada bing, bada boom. Okay, right. Bye. 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 Bye